Welcome. Happy, 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 happy days, I think. I don't know, maybe. Sorry, we uh, had a uh, last minute configuration change that I had to basically update everything for. Is, it, is this switching over? Let's, what's going on here? Okay, it looks like it is. It's just here, I'm gonna refresh this because it might be a little bit behind. Man, this thing is really loud. Make sure my, uh, make sure my stuff isn't loud on here. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, we're good there. Okay, it's just really good quality audio from the soundbar again today. Anyway, guys, welcome everybody. Welcome to uh, Wednesday episode, or sorry, yeah, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, that's oh, just weird. Today, welcome to the special Wednesday episode. It's not special, it's actually just right on time, but welcome to the special Wednesday episode of Roby Tech. We're gonna get this right here eventually. Um, but uh, we're a special Wednesday episode. We are doing a new case today, uh, basically doing the new DF700 Flux from Antec. Um, originally, uh, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about parts later on. I don't know, I'm doing like the twisty thing. Uh, we're gonna be doing, talking a little bit about parts later on, but um, decided to go air-cooled on this build instead of liquid-cooled. A couple things, uh, just the unique nature of how they've set up the cooling in the case. So uh, we ended up switching out the Galahad for the Master Air MA620M. I was gonna, I, I got a shipment of coolers from, from Noctua, but when I was looking at the case and making decisions, which I usually kind of do last minute before I sit down and work on the uh, uh, go live, I was like, well, I don't really have time to go back to uh, my house and grab one of the new coolers. So um, we're gonna use the one that everybody really enjoys. It's just so massive. It's a good one for just testing, um, just overall sizes. But I'll talk a little bit about when I get to the part, why I ended up deciding to go air cooling on this versus doing AIO cooling, um, which I mean, you guys always love it when I walk you through. Uh, let's go, you guys always like it when I walk through the, uh, like the planning process and stuff like that. Um, a couple things, uh, just some housekeeping items in general. We'll talk about giveaways here in a second, uh, but a couple things I always would like to go through with you guys is first and foremost, we did have, um, I made a mistake uh, last on Monday, um, just because I had a, I was basically focused on getting that build done. And one of the things I was talking about was specifically about negative pressure versus positive pressure. On, on Tuesday, we released a full in-depth um, air cooling guide, um, which is now available now. We'll get you guys links for that stuff. Actually, it's it's done very, very well. People are really digging it, um, and it's full of great information. But one of the things that I said was I said that negative is good, um, is actually good for dust. It's actually the opposite. Negative is terrible for dust, and positive is great for dust. In fact, if you're looking for an ideal situation when you think about builds in general, you always wanna do a positive pressure situation. Um, neutral is just kind of a unicorn. And if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, go watch my video because honestly, like I spent a good almost 20 plus minutes going through the basics of setting up your fans, how to do air cooling, how to choose an air cooler, how to, uh, what different fans do, talk about high static pressure versus all that other stuff. So if you really wanna get an in-depth, like just a really great guide on how to do and set that up, we're actually been doing as part of a series um, over on YouTube to help you guys through the entire process of planning your build. So we released an ultimate RGB guide uh, yesterday, Tuesday, we released a uh, airflow, planning your airflow and setting up airflow in a case. And then uh, next week, we'll actually have a whole one on choosing your case. So it's an in-depth guide in terms of what, uh, um, it's, uh, it's basically how to choose your case and what, uh, how to basically select the right case, when to do AIO cooling versus custom water cooling and all that sort of stuff. So um, really, really great series. We're gonna do one on water cooling, on AIO cooling, all that sort of stuff. You'll basically be able to uh, actually have like a full like whole thing on doing it as well as uh, also we have another full blown step-by-step -step guide uh, releasing next week as well. So some really great videos on the horizon. Um, and a lot of the content you guys have been asking for, but I just wanted to sit there and say like, hey, guys, the one thing that's interesting about a live show, and I'll tell you, this is something that Linus, you know, I've even had conversations with uh, other uh, content for, uh, content creators that doing things live with all of the things that we balance, sometimes we make mistakes. And yes, I'm kind of okay what? with completely announcing that and saying, hey, you know what? We do make mistakes and, and it is a thing that we just kind of have to deal with. So um, I apologize. I know some people got really heated. Um, in fact, on our Discord, I was like checking out the PC picks. And uh, one thing I did want to say, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rant a little bit, is people say, 
And uh, it's funny because Maiden in America and I were, were joking a little bit about this. It's like PC people say, hey, he rises, Roby. It's like, guys, you do not like, if you need to visualize how fast air travels through your PC case, he don't give a crap because it is going so fast to your case, he doesn't have time to rise. The air, if you have done your job with your airflow, all in all, there ain't no heat rising in your case because it's being sucked out via exhaust. So um, please don't say stuff like that because it's not, it's a yes. If I was gonna stick in a static situation and literally just heat things, yes, over time heat would rise. But honestly, it's just being sucked out so quickly and airflow is moving so fast through a, a PC case that you don't have to worry about heat rising and thermal dynamics from that standpoint. So again, just a little thing and also, chill okay it's just like we're not talking about medical stuff right like we're not talking about things like where you're going to do things that are going to ultimately kill you i'm just saying like there's no reason to get so passionate about certain things like you know hey i made a mistake i'll sit there and i'll say i'll, I'll own up to it but man some of the stuff that you guys get all like uh you guys get all crazy about is just like whoa um going from there um okay so yeah there's that right there uh last thing okay let's go and walk through uh let's go and walk through giveaways Wow, look at that. Timing perfect, uh, right in time for Hype Train. Uh, uh, PC case, the heat rises. What? Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's go uh, ner nerd be wilding. I'd be bussing. Um, let's talk about uh, giveaways because giveaways are always a, a critical part uh, and everybody always wants to know. That's why a ton of you guys come and uh, view uh, the show for the first time. So we have a series of giveaways that we're gonna, wow, Psycho dropping 25 gifted subs, just kicking it off like they do, like there's no tomorrow. Um, the way the giveaways work is we have two giveaways that are kind of community giveaways. The first one has to do if we get level five hype train twice on the channel with Psycho doing what she's doing we're more than likely gonna hit that no problem. Uh, if, we get, uh, if we get 700 likes on the YouTube channel, the YouTube stream part, we also give away another 500 gig NVMe. So that's two 500 gig NVMe drives that we're gonna give away uh, sometime tonight. That always happens. If it fails, I don't, I don't even know what I would do. I'd be like, what, what is happening? Um, I, the, I, I would be at a loss too. I'd be I'd at be a like, loss, because it's like, yeah, it's like, a wait a second. Uh, the second one um, that we're talking about is that we have down at the bottom, you see that $50 new gift card. If we get 50 subs, it becomes a $50 new gift card. If you get 100 subs, it becomes a $100 new gift card. If you get 150 subs, it becomes a $150 new gift card, and so on and so forth. Actually, um, Trey, can you go grab in the other room? Kevin's got the some of the cards that are going out. Just walk in there and just say, Vega dropping 25 gifted subs, and there we go. Can you go grab a couple of cards? We have, people have been asking about prize distributions. Are they marked? I think they're not, I think they're not packed yet. So you can go to ask him and he'll let you, so we can show that these things are getting ready to go out. Um, so we have had prize distribution. It's been prize distribution week. Um, a bunch of 5,600Xs went out, a bunch of 5,800Xs uh, went out. We got 3060s going out, 3070s going Where out. Where are they? They're in his office. You can just ask him. So we'll show you guys here that prizes are going out. I know you guys love to see this stuff. So again, just making it real, because a lot of people go, so these things are scams. No, they're not. We're, we're actually shipping them out and all that sort of stuff. So uh, we uh, we actually have that stuff going out. Um, now we'll show you a couple of the, well, the ones that are basically going out today. Uh, so all of the February, all of the February cards and that we had like one straggler from December, those cards are all being taken care of. M.2s, Blondie's been sending those out. Um, gift cards, you're starting to see those show up. So again, all of that stuff is happening. And so we have price distribution happening right now. I know uh, the Aaron's PC already went out and all that sort of stuff, but we're going from there. So that's down there, the $50 new gift card, $100 new gift card, 150, so on and so forth. The one thing we got rid of was 3060 Ti's guys. Um, just truth be told, we've just had such a hard time getting them. Um, and so uh, because of that, we're not giving away 3060 Ti's, it's 3060's and then it goes to 3070's, but you can basically uh, check out uh, that stuff as well. Now, lastly, uh, because we have two more streams left, we are giving away two. There we go. Here's a couple of the prize distributions right here. So you can see some of these things that are going out. Here we got Zotac 3060, EVGA 3060. So you're seeing cards going out. They're being packed up to be sent out. Brand new cards. So I just want to show these off. You guys can basically see that the prizes are going out and and uh, being shipped. So um, we uh, we are giving away two 3070s to two lucky subs here on Twitch. Uh, the way to basically get on on those is uh, if you do a, uh, if you're over at twitch.tv slash newegg or youtube.com slash robytech, pop on over to twitch.tv slash robytech, drop your free Prime subscription. It's free. Well, I mean, you paid for Prime, but yeah, for the most part, it's free. 
Drop your Prime subscription, you may walk away with a free GPU. And then if you wanna get extra entries, you could do like what Psycho's doing, or you could do like what uh, Vega's doing. Drop gifted subs, that gets you extra entries. The one that gets you the most though, is those tier two and tier three subs. Um, we actually give you a ton um, for basically subscribing because those are like massive supporters for me. Um, and then, uh, you know, that's basically it. So that's all the stuff that's happening. And then finally, we have the Intel. We have the Intel PC giveaway happening right now, the AMD PC giveaway right now. And then tomorrow, Friday, we have the Razer, two Razer PCs that we're giving away. So Ooh, look for that wee. as well. So we got all sorts of giveaways that are happening and more starting in Thanks May. For the so bits. lots and lots of giveaways, which is always super, super awesome. So trying to make things, trying to make these fun for you guys. I'm um, in trying to make it awesome. So yeah, that's that's the giveaway situation. Um, I also want to quickly, because I like to do this, I also want to quickly talk to you guys about one of our primary sponsors for the show. That's right, it's become that time of the week. Everybody get ready to celebrate. Well, actually first, before we get too far in this, let's finish this. We got 15 seconds, 828%. One more nice big drop of subs. I, I forgot to say thank you to all the amazing support. Um, there we go, Rated Soldier, 10 gifted subs, taking it to 994%. No, it's triggering me. We were like 6% away from 1,000. Okay, I'll survive. Thank you very much for those gifted subs. Psycho, all of you who joined me. Rated Soldier. 76, in fact, somebody's saying like, hey, can someone gift me a sub? Hey, please stop begging for subs. But the other thing too is that one of the people, Where's Waldo, who won one of the 3070s from last month, was a gifted sub. So we just want, he got a single gifted sub and then, or she, sorry, could Waldo hey. could be a boy or a girl. Um, so uh, they are the one who, they ended up winning off of a gifted sub. So even people who don't, um, uh, even people who don't uh, basically uh, Shut drop up, a Vega. ton of subs. Uh, Vega is wanting, we're working on that right now. We'll get that all squared away here very, very soon. I know it's a, it's a key thing. Um, okay, so one of the things, if you can get PC parts, because I know <laughs> that's a problem, but if you can get a PC part and you finally get done, you've spent, you know, fifty bajillion dollars on a. Uh, you spent fifty bajillion dollars on a. Um, you know, a GPU and another fifty bajillion dollars on your. Um, whoa, what's going on here with this? Looks like my screen. I think. I think the. It looks like the. It looks like the. Uh, sorry, the the, the wide camera might have frozen. So anyway, guys, um, the, it looks like the wide camera uh, was free. It's good for okay. me. Oh, it's just being. It looks like it's being wacky. It looks it good? Yeah. Might just be my one thing. Yeah. So anyway, uh, you get finished, you spend a ton of money on those cards, spend a ton of money on those cards, you're like, hey, Roby, um, like, I want to like, install Windows. And it's like, you go to install Windows and you're like, what do you mean it's like 126 bucks? Well, alas, like every other YouTuber on the face, tech tuber on the face of the planet, I have a CD key thing. But the difference is, is that mine was, we did a bunch of research to verify they weren't gray market. Um, they were purchased from OEMs. Uh, they were actually legit keys. And so there was a bunch of research I did. And so I came out when I finally decided on my sponsorship, um, I went down with a company called CD Keys. Now, if you are curious, you're like, Roby, are these legit? All that sort of stuff. There are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people here on the channel that you can just ask who've actually gotten keys from these guys. And so uh, here you are, you're looking at CD Keys. I don't know why it's not full screen. Hopefully this, let's just hold on, transform. Music the then. There it goes, okay. So, <clears throat> hopefully that, yeah, there you go. So uh, here you go, you're looking at game keys right here, but if we wanna do a search, we know I was talking about this a little bit earlier, but here's Windows 10 Pro, and then it pops up here and you're like, oh cool, Windows 10 Pro. Look at this for $119.59. But here on cdkeys.com, uh, CDK, cdkdeals.com, uh, it's actually 2164. Now the best thing about this is if you hit buy now, and then you use code RB20, and you hit apply, you are now now, you are now now. You are now now. You are now now, you are now getting your now, now. Windows 10 OEM Pro key for $17.31. Now, what was it, somebody saying it's scam or garbage. That is actually not true. Again, guys, legit current keys, if you have questions about it, literally there are hundreds of people here in chat who have used this very service in fact, we've even had people who've had issues with um, who've had issues with the keys reach out to their customer service department and got the keys uh, fixed right away. And if you don't believe, I've actually purchased keys from these guys. In fact, if we go here to our iPad, like I was showing you here, and you go to uh, over here, and you go to my account, 
and you go to my user center and you look at my profile, sure enough right here, you'll actually see that I have actually purchased keys from, oops, that's not what I wanted. I want my, that's my, well, there you go. That's public anyway. Um, you go to my purchase orders and then you click on there. You can actually see that I have used keys and I've redeemed them and they do work. <laughs> so anyway, it's go, it goes from there. If you guys wanna basically take a look at it, um, all of that information is there. It's a really, really great service. Um, I like them for their keys. Again, went through, verified that they, um, they're they legit, that there's no, there's uh, that you're not gonna have any issues in terms of using the keys, et cetera. Um, and even we've had people who've had problems. So there it is right there. Um, okay, so that's CD keys, uh, CDK deals, cdkdeals.com, give them a go, give them a check out. Uh, I know a lot of people, I see people in chat saying, hey, I've gotten them from them and all that sort of stuff, which is actually super, super awesome. <clears throat> um, let's see. Yeah, I use the free sub. I'm trying to see if anybody has any other questions. But yeah, that's all the stuff that's going in there. I love, there he goes. Fredrik Brar said, hey, thank you. He likes, he appreciates it and all that sort of stuff. And there you go. You got X Vistoriex who got, uh, who also got his window key from there. So we actually have a lot. Yes, uh, MS Office, they actually have game keys. They're nowhere near the same deal. But yeah, Office is on there and all that sort of stuff too. So yeah, we got them. There you go. Another piece, Tigger McGee got his, his key from there. So Stun, who just wants to say, bruh, 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 over and over again. Uh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the music. So um, we're uh, we're good. So yeah, that's the plan. That's everything that's kind of happening. Now let's talk a little bit about um, the build that we are doing today because yeah. it is awesome. Um, I actually uh, hadn't done my first Antec is I had actually done I think it was their DF500. It was uh, last year. Um, we got their first Flux version of uh, their case. Now one of the things that's super unique about these particular cases is their unique, their unique take on airflow. In fact, they create a direct, an additional direct airflow um, course through the back of the case. And it's, you, they create, they've actually given you um, special reverse fans, and uh, I can show you those a little bit later, that you can use to help pull air in. Now, because of this, um, one of the things, and they think about optimal airflow, and in fact, if you look at their website for the DF7, the DF700, which is what we're using today, they very much, and I'll just grab the case to kind of show it off, and we'll take the front cover off, but here's the case right here. Ooh. I like the looks of this one. <laughs> yeah, I like the front of it very much so, but let's go ahead and pop this off. And I'll talk a little bit about one of the things that I think is pretty cool. Now, I've become kind of a big fan of Antec. Now, everybody, a lot of people know that I'm like the largest fan of Fantex, um, but these are very high quality cases as well. And they really work hard on uh, basically how they do the cooling. And I'm gonna pop this off just so it's a little easier to see. Oh my gosh. World's strongest thumbs. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Luckily, I'm so strong. Okay. It's so strong. Okay, so when you look at the case in general, uh, the way that most people, like a lot of times when you look at me do cases, I'll do intake, intake, and then I'll do an exhaust, um, especially if I'm in a top mount in AIO. Um, and that creates a positive pressure situation. It's good for dust for the most part. And I'll use, I have a tendency to use a pretty powerful airflow fan in the back, which will overcompensate. Again, it's really hard to make a super overly pressured situation. But one of the things that's interesting about the DF700 Flux is that they're creating a new intake situation. So the way that they basically want to work this is they're going to create an intake situation. You can actually see the fan, the, the slots here in the bottom, and then they give you with the case, which actually this, this case comes with four fan stock. They actually give you a special uh, reverse fan. And so what you're going to do is you're actually going to have intake that's also going to come from the bottom through the side. And you can do up to two of these fans on the sides. So you'll have intake so you'll have five intake fans and then you'll do three exhaust fans um essentially creating a positive pressure situation inside of the case um but at the same time you now have a direct cold air intake system for the gpu and you um and you also have um good airflow cooling for the cpu now i like to mount my aio but if i have intake Intake, 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 intake. I have a lot of intake and a single exhaust. That was gonna create relatively, pretty, pretty much a very, probably <laughs> what I'd say uncomfortably high positive pressure situation. I know I don't have incense to essentially test this, but I said, hey, instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an air cooler 
which then I can just stick an exhaust here, potentially an exhaust here, um, and then that'll basically make a much more balanced positive pressure situation within the case and make for optimal cooling. So that's why I switched it. But again, something that's very unique about this case. And so as I thought more about it, I was pretty excited. The other thing that's really great about this case as well is it actually comes with an integrated uh, RGB hub and it also comes with a um, fan hub. Now, unfortunately, the fan hub is only three pin. I wish it was four pin, which would be a little bit nicer, but it is, uh, it's still pretty cool that, uh, to see a case comes from that. And then again, I also like just, this is the stuff that, uh, that Trey was talking about. The actual front um, like design is pretty neat. So they actually have this built into the mesh and the mesh is nice and open and wide. So you're not gonna get uh, restricted airflow um, via the mesh like you typically would. But yeah, that's, that's actually pretty cool. So again, gonna be an interesting case. Excited to build in it today um, and work through it. Um, and should be fun, but a little bit of a change. I was gonna use one of those Lee and Lee Galahad 240 IOs and then change my mind and decided to do the, um, the Flux, uh, do a air-cooled system instead. So yeah, that is the plan. That is the plan for today. And <clears throat> something I was excited about is just, I've really actually become quite a fan of Antec and their cases. So we'll see if this continues. We're actually, one of the things that you guys have seen, I um, mean, we've gotten feedback on and you guys wanna know, hey, Roby, do you listen to feedback? Do you read the comments? Um, we've been doing case reviews, but they've really been like, hey, here's what I think of the case and here's here's what I like for building. But we haven't really given a lot of specs or benchmarks. So now um, with the P200A and then now with the Matrix uh, 40 from Deepcool, when you go and watch those build, not only will they include benchmarks for games for the, for the actual builds that we put in them, but they'll also include thermals for the case so you can get an idea in terms of how the case actually performs from a thermal standpoint as well. And then there's gonna, we're gonna be separating um, the case reviews and then the, the builds. And we'll be doing in-depth reviews on the cases. Now case manufacturers actually send us two of every case. And when we look at the case, we actually set them up with one that's an apples to apples, same PC setup every time. So that way you guys can actually see, hey, when I say this is an airflow build, why is the P300A or the P500A worse or better than the D700 Flux? So again, things that we have seen your feedback, we are reacting to it to make it better. So you're gonna get more and better information out of the things that we provide uh, here on Robitech, which should be cool. And yes, warm air rises. Sorry, it just- What? Isn't it heavy so it falls? <laughs> yeah, so no, warm air just closes um, going from there. Okay, let's, uh, let's update our giveaway. We're at 98 already. So I'm just gonna go, can we get two more subs real quick? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna trust that we're gonna get two more subs because I know that I'm just gonna set it to 100 knowing that honestly, we'll, we'll get it. So it, it, it bugs them so yeah, much. Yeah, it, it does. Okay, so we, I'm gonna go ahead and go to here. Let's go all widgets and <clears throat> go to our sub goal. There we go. Thank you very much, Dragon Zombie, taking it to 10. Oh, oh, well now, now you, oh, geez guys. I said two, now you gave me, okay. So now we're at 10, 108. 109, well, yeah. 109, okay, so we're gonna go to 109. Here we go, uh, going to the next goal, uh, the third goal already. So let's let's do this uh, here in a second. All widgets. Radiation, not... thanks for that sub. 112, okay, now we're 112. Okay, here we go. Uh, going to, nobody else did anything. 113, you guys are hilarious. Okay, uh, $150 new gift card. We, uh, we need 150, we're at 113, 04, 31. Okay, there we go. Okay, next goal is up. They're now moving towards getting hardware away. Oh, I know, thank you very Robbie, much, Red Dragon Robbie Zombie, really and I appreciate it. Pretty much anything or us. Yeah. Oh, it, it was 114, was it really? Dang it. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do like, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, bah, 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 bah. Thank you for keeping me honest, Blondie. I really appreciate it. Um, alert box, test subscription. Oh, it's 115? It's actually 115. Okay, all widgets. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, now it's all back up to bed. Tracer, and Tracer, thanks for the sub. Okay, so there we go. We're at 115 now and everything's all caught up and everything's good. Okay, so let's talk about the parts going into this build. I know I, I kind of went a little backwards and took the part, took the case apart already, but I really wanted to walk through the case um, because I, I'm just excited 
Yeah. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about mounting and stuff We've like that. Built in, was it a Nantech that had something like this mm -hmm. before? Yeah, we did the yeah. we did an earlier flux. I think it was a DF six hundred actually. So this is the we this is our second Antec build on this on the thing, and I was actually really impressed with that build. So the case is on sale, Pablo. That is right. Yeah, it is actually on sale. So. <clears throat> um, okay. So yes, is the sub message stuck? No, I think it'll go away. We'll make sure. It, we'll double check later. Maybe it's it. Maybe it is. Maybe they just want you to know that I subscribe to myself, and that is important. So yeah, going from there. Um, okay, so yeah, let's talk about parts. Let's talk about the stuff that's going into the build. I'm just looking through and reading chat because I, I want to. Um, oh, this is not. Oh, I forgot to change it here. Okay, let me. I'm gonna fix the <laughs> fix the MA six twenty M. I'm gonna fix the. I know. I noticed that our, uh, our our shopping list is wrong, so I'm fixing that right now. We'll just take a second, guys. Come on, cap. How, how many? Uh, how many likes today? 700? 700. Yeah, it's the same. I'm just keeping the same. I feel like this is like locked up. Yeah, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Adding, there it is. And this, and even the air cooler that I'm using today is also on sale. So uh, if you want to check that out. Why is this not? Might have to do this on the uh, app. Yep. Okay, one sec, guys. I was trying to have to, I like, you try and do something and it's just being wacky. Hold on. I'm updating. I, I fixed the list, but I forgot to actually. So now if you look at the overall build list, this is actually, it's actually corrected. Okay, room tech build. Okay, there we go. Now we can continue moving forward with our build. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the parts that are going in today's build. Um, this is gonna be a bit of a shorter build. Anytime we kind of do air cooling, it always is. Yeah. Uh, just because water <laughs> cool, uh, because of cable management, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so for our CPU today, we're using the Ryzen 7 5800X. Oh, this is not, this is a 3800. Would you mind grabbing the 5800X? We grabbed a 3800XT. So, How did, you know what? Honestly, this is fine. We're gonna sure? use it. No, let's grab a 5800X. Because we're using the new B550, so we'll let's grab a. I don't uh, know how that happened. I don't know how that 5, works. 5800X. So we're going to be using the Ryzen 7 5800X. Um, it is, uh, you know, of course, it's their eight core, 16 thread, um, kind of middle of the road CPU. It's one of the ones, I'll be honest, it's one of the ones that frankly is in stock. Like you can just go to Newegg right now and buy it retail, 449. Um, if you're like, hey, I really want a Ryzen 5, a Ryzen 7. Um, uh, CPU, this is one that you can just go buy. The, the 5600X is also available. It's still $100 over what you should pay. But I mean, if you wanted to buy a 5800X, it actually is at retail. Uh, for our RAM, we're using the XPG Spectrix, their D60G. It's 3600 megahertz. Uh, overall, like the look of this RGB RAM. We've used it quite a few times. Um, we've done all XPG builds. Um, it's always a lot of fun. Now, here, here's where we start to get fun, guys. Um, we're doing an AMT build, but we're going to be using Intel oh. NVMe SSDs. <clears throat> yeah, let's just get crazy. Uh, so we're going to be using Intel 670p NVMe SSDs. We're going to do a 500 gig um, OS drive and then a one terabyte um, game drive just to help spark your spark your craziness. Um, and some of you guys are like, I, I know that there's probably people in there like starting to tweet because they're like, what is, what is, wait, what? You're doing what? You can't, you can't do that. You can't have two builds with Intel and C Intel and AMD. Well, actually these are great consumer level NVMe SSDs. Um, uh, they have really good uh, terabyte written endurance. Um, they've come up with a really great price and an upgrade from their uh, 660Ps. Um, we did a full review on these and I've actually really enjoyed them. <clears throat> For our cooling, we're using the big boy, just basically because I wanted, I, I wanted to use an Octua, um, but we just didn't have time to go grab one. 
So we're using the Master Air MA620M. I've used this probably, what, two or three times now on the show? At least um, three. Yeah, at least three. Uh, really, really like this. It's just a massive cooler. It's gonna have more than enough cooling capacity uh, in terms of for cooling our uh, AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. It's going to get tons and tons of nice cool air just given the design in the case. So it just felt like a right, it felt like a good case to do air cooling in. So we decided to switch it up from the Lee and Lee Galahad. Um, and so that's what we're gonna be using for our cooling. Um, for our motherboard, a new entry, um, and excited about this. It's the first of its kind, the NZXT, that's right, we have an AMD uh, uh, motherboard from uh, NZXT. This is their B550, it's that beautifully shielded, looks nice and sick and clean, um, very, very fresh looking uh, board. This is the black version, even though it shows white on the front. Pricey from a from a cost perspective, coming in at $229, <clears throat> but it's a very fully loaded motherboard. Um, and so uh, all in all, like people are asking, does it catch fire? No, it actually does a really good job of dissipating heat. And all in all, because it's B550, you don't have the same active cooling issues, which is I think one of the reasons that you're seeing this in B550 form factor, not X570, was specifically given how much you had to actively cool the chipset. This one is not gonna be uh, anywhere near the issues. Um, we haven't tested this, right? So could I say that like, do we have heating issues? No, I know that they have a Z590 one that's on its way out. There hasn't been a ton of complaints about the Z490 version of this board. Um, so uh, excited to get to use this. Um, and I, I really love the way it looks. In fact, um, we've, well, it's not on. Um, we're actually using the Z490 version of it in our, um, in our N7 build, uh, N7, uh, my, uh, sorry, Mass Effect build here in the back. So. Uh, gonna be checking that out. We'll walk you through the the, the overall motherboard, um, and it looks really good. I, so, I like how it just everything's covered. Like you don't you don't see the the circuit board. You don't see the transistors no, or just, anything on it. It's it just, just looks clean. nice. Clean. Yeah, it's clean, and that's I think that's it's unique. And I, we have yeah. actually both the white and the black version. Mm -hmm. um, and so I love using the white one. It's probably one of the cleanest looking motherboards. Um, uh, in terms of just overall look and feel, which is pretty nice. So we'll put that stuff away. Um, okay, uh, for our power supply, um, and for our power supply um, and our GPU, because you know this is what you guys always care about. Um, for our power supply, we're uh, continuing our NZXT. We're using the NZXT C850. Um, these are actually built on. Dang it, just forgot the name. Starts with an S, not Silverstone. And every time I think of this, I always want to say Silverstone, but it's not, it's... it's no, that's a great C -Sonic? S name too, C-Sonic. Uh, C-Sonic based power supplies, um, overall love their packaging. They just take a lot of quality um, in terms of how they're presented, like probably just a great looking, also very clean, uh, uh, very clean CPU, sorry, PSU, um, ATX obviously in terms of form factor. And then uh, for our game, for our GPU, um, it's funny, I haven't used this, um, I feel like I should have a long time ago. Um, but this is an Aorus GeForce RTX 3070. Wait, I haven't? I haven't used it, yeah. It's what just, is wrong with it? I know. Um, love this one. It's got the LED on the side. Um, the other thing, too, is that honestly, I was waiting for an, a uh, for the release of their newest um, software, RGB Fusion 2.0, um, which has been having issues with writing to these cards. But now that they actually have updated it, it becomes a whole lot easier. So I'm going to use this. Um, it's going to look great. Um, it's going to fit within this case very, very well. And again, the triple fan design is going to get that just that active cooling from the um, additional fan. And this is really made to be a side mount, uh, sorry, a, ver a horizontally mounted uh, GPU versus a vertically mounted GPU, just given the LED and everything like that. So um, I well, like a good choice for this particular build. Um, if you're looking to say if you this would be a great build if you were like, hey, I want to match this build. And it's like it's just at. I think it's uh, just at 2,300 bucks. <clears throat> just. just at 2,300 bucks. I know given, you know, it should be far less because, you know, the GPU should really only be 400, and, you know, 550 bucks. But unfortunately, uh, with the way things are, this is $800 versus 599. Um, and that's just, thank you tariffs. Um, <clears throat> and then of course, if you're gonna buy it from a scalper, it's 20 bajillion dollars instead of 799. So there you go. So there are all our parts. Um, I oh, ooh, I just threw that thing down pretty hard. Um, for uh, we also, and uh, I like these fans. Uh, these are the Antec. They're P they're P one twenties. 
Um, their, uh, <clears throat> their air, actually, never mind. These are, uh, their airflow is pretty terrible at 45.3 CFM. This is actually worse <clears throat> than Corsair in terms of their overall uh, airflow. They have an okay uh, air pressure at MMH2 of 2.56. So right on, right on par in terms of their, um, in terms of their, uh, of Cor Corsair, in terms of their um, CFM are, is low, but their, their, um, their air pressure stuff is actually just a little bit on par. So um, no, I don't know if I'd recommend these fans. Uh, that airflow is pretty terrible. Uh, but again, one thing that's nice is you get five of them for 70 bucks. So wow. there's something. Um, so I don't know if I'll put these in. I actually don't know. I should look. Guys, let's go on a let's go on a let's go on a scavenger hunt. <laughs> let's go on a scavenger hunt. Let's look at the DF 700M, uh, which is on sale, 79 bucks. That's actually a pretty good Ooh. price. Um, I want to see if they're what their fan. I'm curious. Hey, okay, I'm gonna ask the tech specialist. Um, if you guys would you guys mind looking up and then sending me letting me know in um, Discord what is the CFM and uh, pressure for the uh, fans that are actually included in this case. Um, I wonder if this one... Don't tell you on that box? I'm guessing no. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna see if it's on the box for, uh, for this one. Nope, okay. So if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a look and letting me know, we'll figure out what the pressure is for the stock fans. Uh, given 70 bucks, um, you know, all in all, and the, the importance of, of, of cooling on this, I'd be curious if they're pretty any good. So yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the build. That's all the parts. Uh, thoughts, questions? Yeah, I know a lot of people are probably saying Roby dad joke, which we'll get to a here in a second. A lot of people are saying dad joke. <clears throat> dad joke it is. Let's get the, uh, um, let's get the uh, dad joke stuff in here, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Um, Jessio, this one's, this one's pretty, this one, I, I think my son, I might tell this one to my son a little bit better. Uh, he says, why doesn't James Bond fart in bed? Why doesn't James Bond fart in bed? Because it'll blow his cover. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my sad, my dad, my son, my son would absolutely love that one. Um, uh, uh, it says, um, okay, let me see what else we have. Um, uh, I'm trying to see if there's some other ones in here. Uh, I'm sure you've heard this one. What's a pirate's favorite letter? Oh, yeah. R. R. Here's one. C, to prove I'm not boring. Uh, to C, to prove I'm not a boring house dad, I got a tattoo. Mom says, oh, cool. It's a... Uh, and dad says, it's a thermos from my work. Uh, well, uh, the line of work is certainly, don't touch the thermos tat. <laughs> oh man, that one's pretty good. I, that, that definitely sounds like a conversation I would have with my wife. Um, I wonder it? if songbirds get mad at hummingbirds for not knowing the words. Oh man, these are great. Okay, so if you have dad jokes that you would like to submit to uh, get read on your show, uh, big shout out to Fudley, uh, Super Doomsday, and uh, Jesse O for the ones that we just got finished reading. Head on over to our uh, discord.gg slash RobyTech. Pop on down to dad jokes, pop your dad jokes in. Again, dad jokes are not full of curse words and uh, profanity. So I just want to understand, it seems like some people have different dads than I potentially had. And that's not to say that we aren't into diverse dads, but uh, family friendly um, and all that sort of stuff. Um, okay, it looks like the stat, the CFM for the fans that are included um, in, uh, for the fans that are included in this one are actually 42.28. So case fan wise, um, it may not be a bad idea to actually replace the case fans uh, in, in uh, this particular case. So again, 42.8, uh, comparatively, like uh, 47 and, you know, you, it's 47 and there can be some, some 50s and 60s uh, in terms of airflow fans. 42 is pretty baseline. It's, I'm not saying they're not terrible, but they're just not, they're kind of average in terms of your, your airflow. So um, just as an FYI, now that we've gotten that data for you. Um, yeah, we could IQ the bad boy up and just put a crap ton of Cooler Master. But I mean, like, I mean, even these. You mean Corsair. I mean, Corsair. Um, but even these, like the... Uh, like looking at these, the ML, 
I think these are. And all uh, MLs have better. Yeah, these are 41.8. These aren't. These aren't all. I mean, like actually, I think these Antec ones are actually better than the QLs. Oh, these are 45. Okay, so actually, from an airflow standpoint, these are actually better than this. I think I. I don't know where I got my numbers from. I think I was thinking like 50 or 60, but these are actually. Um, these are actually better than these. Would so. that be like the MLs or the LLs? Yeah, the MLs. I think the uh, the white LLs apparently have the highest. So, going from there. So. Okay, so actually, never mind. I apologize. These are actually pretty. These are actually okay. I was. <laughs> I'm. I'm mistaken again. I don't know where my mind was. These are actually okay fans. So we could actually stick all five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we could put all five of these, or we could do a couple exhausts and just do the rear, the bottom one. So. We might do that in this list. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and throw on these Antec fans. When are you going to build or what did pa So somebody's saying, I give up. What did he say? I give up. Somebody's saying, I give up. Poor Hardison Karma 79 gave up. Yeah, the, bo the board is brand new. Al Bundy, the bo board is brand new. Uh, we're gonna find out. You know, honestly, I've used these before. I want to see how loud they are. And then, of course, we also have that this fan, which is interesting. Check this out. Like I said, guys, it's a live show. Sometimes I do. Check this out. This There's is actually no a giveaway link. He this... was asking for the giveaway link. Oh, for what? Oh. I don't know. Oh, probably because he's going in and saying, "Hey, I want to enter the giveaway." Check this fan out. This fan is actually reverse. So this fan is actually reverse. Um, usually when you look at a fan, you're like, oh, this is, uh, the air blows this way. But this fan, they specifically designed it so the air blows this way. Um, so A, you can cut your fingers on it without having the guards, which is not really the point. But um, what it's really for is so you can actually mount this right here uh, on your uh, on your board and then give your airflow, give your um, case direct airflow um, and have it look nice, Thank I guess. Thank you for the 200 bits mix. So there we go. I don't know what that stuck up. Okay, so we're gonna replace our fans real quick just to go with the Antec. I wonder, are these P1, you no, know, these are not P120s. I'm, I'm actually gonna stick, use these for my exhaust. I'm gonna get all my airflow stuff. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do my motherboard first and then we'll do that last one. Oh, I feel scattered today. Just having a, having a tough, it's having, a day. It's a day. It's just one of those days. You guys wanna know why? I met with my tax accountant today. I think that kind of, he was, she's BWX, cool. She's cool, but that, for the sub. most part, it's like, uh. Okay, so let's grab our motherboard. Let's start building the, the thing, and then we'll we'll go from there. Oh, look at this. Get ready. Here we go. I like, these motherboards are always, I, th I think people are always going to be happy. We basically did these. Don't know if this has been answered already, but when will the MSI B560i motherboard come out? We don't know. No idea. If they haven't said... Rogue hey, Psycho dropping 25 gifted subs. Thank you very much, Psycho. Again? Yeah, she just dropped 25 more. Here we go, guys. Here's that beautiful. <clears throat> I want to know what they do for a living. They support Robitech. <laughs> for a living. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to grab this out. I'm wondering, wow, this is such a big anti-static bag. I'm gonna see if, I think this actually, that's what I was looking for right there. There's one. Nice recycled. You only gave me one. I hope that I don't need, I don't, I hope I need not more than one. Okay. Put this over here. Nanogra, thank you for that prime sub. So here is our motherboard. Look at this thing, man. So pretty. I love, like again, people were talking about, um, does it have heat issues? No, it actually doesn't. Uh, it still has lots of actual airflow. Um, the uh, other thing that's really nice is the VRM solution. Again, still gonna dissipate heat. Is this like gonna be a massive overclocking capable um, uh, motherboard? You really, I mean, the, like no, right? But again, those take very, very specific ones. But in terms of for clean and all that other stuff, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be absolutely great um, and be able to be more than functional for like your average or even like above average use uh, from a uh, from that standpoint. So um, we'll walk through the stuff that's kind of included. It is definitely a more premium board. Meet Retreat asks who manufactures their boards. Uh, I you know as far as I know they do. I actually don't think that these are. I don't think these are. I, I'm, I'm not. 
Let me ask, let me see if I can ask. I'll, here, I'll just, I'll ping, I'll actually DM them right now. Let me see if, uh, let me see if that, that's, if I can get that information. Let's see if we can get the answer to that question now. It's for us to know and you to find out. <laughs> we will find out. I think that they make them, but I will find out. I'm bringing it up, guys. Hold on, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking, asking. Asking the, in real time. I'm asking the fine folks over at, uh, at, um, at NZXT. NZXT. That's a good question. Where is my... You know what? Okay. I you can't... ask the questions, chat. I try to get that to Roby. There it is. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Kevtex says Azrock makes them. Okay, so they're saying... You guys are saying Azrock. I just, uh, I just asked them... I mean, that kind of makes... Oh, wait, never mind. I'm thinking of the Razor board. Okay. No, the box is white, but... uh. Still, I'm, like, waiting for it to load. But it's the... Oh, it's, it's the not loading. Version. This is being weird. Okay. I'm going to send on my phone. Being super weird, guys. Again, it's just being, I don't know what's going on with the, the thing. Okay, it's uh, it, they, uh, the thing. So I'll see, I'll let you guys know if they go in there, we're gonna let it load and see what happens. Okay, so we've got it, we, we, we DM'd them. I talked to Andy over at NZXT. We'll see if we can get that information. But in the meantime, let's uh, build the PC. Now real quick, let's walk through, just because this board looks very different than most people are used to. Let's go and walk through the motherboard and just talk to you and show you um, where everything kind of goes. I'm gonna remove these stickers first. The music is a tad loud, okay? Turn down a little bit. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, okay, here we go. So we got it all kind of taken apart now. Get the stickers off. Okay, let's walk through what's on here today. Okay, so again, here we are. We have our standard. We have our standard. Uh, we have our standard uh, AM4 socket. This is where we're basically going to stick <clears throat> our CPU. This is an AM4, which has been <clears throat> in use since Ryzen came out with Ryzen Series One. Uh, there's rumor that we will actually have a different socket when we get to uh, the next version, given that they're actually again uh, going to a smaller nanometer. Uh, manufacturing process for the next one. So uh, this may be the last time we actually see this version of the socket. Up in the top left, we have our EPS CPU power connector. This basically, there's actually a four pin and an eight pin. The only one you need to use is the eight pin. Uh, the four pin is optional. Uh, if you want it, what it would do is it basically just ensures, and the big thing is, is that as you overclock a CPU, um, it requires, it starts to require an exponential amount of power. What this does is this ensures that you have a, uh, the right amount of power, uh, sorry, a consistent amount of power uh, split among both the VRM and to the CPU, so you can do things like what are called overclocking. Uh, and when you talk about overclocking, when you're using this one, you're talking about like high-end overclocking or usually what's called LN2 overclocking, which is liquid nitrogen. Also at the top here, we've got the CPU fan and the I/O pump. Again, a little bit different. We're like, we're not used to like having this whole thing blocked up. This right here is called the VRM. Uh, the VRM is actually what uh, basically manages the phase power to the CPU in general. Um, and this one has a tendency to be a pretty beefy VRM and then a nice uh, clean, uh, 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 a nice clean um, uh, heat sink. Uh, we have NZXT RGB. So they have their proprietary RGB stuff for CAM, which is new. This was added with the Z490 motherboard. So it's continued with their newer one. So if you have stuff that you're directly plugging in uh, via CAM like there, AIOs, all that stuff, they have direct connections for their stuff here. Uh, we've also got two more additional system fans up here at the top. Down here, we've got the addition of uh, the 24 pin uh, CPU power connector. One thing that is nice about this motherboard and like a lot of other B550 motherboards is um, the fact that this also includes a USB-C connection. Not all B550 motherboards include that. Uh, down here on the side, uh, one thing that we actually have quite a bit of connectivity is you've got the the uh, the uh, addition of two actually USB 3.2 or USB 3 connectors um, in a uh, what is essentially 
instead of being like the standard ones that are down at the bottom in a in a in a horizontal vertical horizontal vertical in a vertical orientation along with six SATA connections. Um, some of the things that are nice and what you see on a more premium board, which is why this costs what it does, is the equivalent of a power and reset switch, um, which does not mean you have to use the power and switch button. Uh, you do have your front panel here. Um, we have three additional system fans. Uh, the equivalent of, wow, you, this is cool. You actually get three USB connections, which is actually super rare. Um, wow. If we would have done this on the build, like for instance, the build that we did on Monday, this would have come in handy and I wouldn't have had to use an NZXT USB hub. Uh, you still have a five volt and a 12 volt RGB connection, and it also includes a front panel audio. Now, the thing that is unique about this case is that the M.2s, and a lot of people say, hey, are they, are they actually gonna have heat dissipation issues? They are not. There's actually a air, there's actually uh, the ability to vent air above. So this actually doesn't sit right against the edge for the M.2s, but you've got two M.2s. This one is gonna be PCIe Gen 4. This one's gonna be PCIe Gen 3. You've got a Bi-8, a Bi, sorry, a Bi-16, a Bi-8, and two by four uh, PCIe slots. So, and then again, you've got, you've just got these nice covers that go over things to make it look clean and pretty, so. Does the motherboard have a debugging light and LED built in? This does not, I do not see a debugging light on this. Uh, so you'll have to use a, you will have to use in this particular case, a, um, a PC speaker. I don't see a debugging light. Like, and that is, again, uh, it's a good call out. Oh, and this is magnetic now. Oh, that's better. So this is magnetic, uh, something they've increased. The Z590, this is nice. Um, if you've used these NZXT before, uh, these boards used to include clips, but those clips used to break all the time. Now these are magnetic, which are much easier to get on and off, which is cool. So that's, yeah. that's, a, that's, a, that's a direct response to feedback. Um, which is nice. Those as well. magnets aren't strong enough to disrupt anything. Obviously. No, no, they'll be fine. Yeah, they're gonna delete your hard drive, but that's fine. Sub goal reach. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're on our way to the next one. Does it have the thermal? Does this one have the thermal paste on the back cover? No, there is no thermal. I did look at that. There is no thermal pad. Um, but again, there is actually a good three quarters of an uh, three quarters. Uh, sorry, about half, maybe a quarter of an inch of space Your between about an inch. Huh? No, yeah, it's about it's a quarter. About it's about a quarter of an inch of space between the cover and the top of the M.2. So there's actually some good ventilation. So that, in other words, you're going to have air. Um, again, you're not getting a lot of air circulation, but there, it looks some of that stuff. I don't think you're going to have a heat trap. It is worth us testing, and I probably will talk to Kevin. I don't know. If, I don't have answers for you right now, um, but to see if we'd actually get any potential thermal throttling. Um, um, to get any potential thermal throttling on your M.2. Where's so. the SATA? The SATAs are on the side. There they are right there, along with your USB 3.2s. And then for uh, inputs, actually quite a bit. So you've actually got quite a bit. You do have BIOS flashback as well. You've actually also got a clear CMOS button, which is nice. Um, and then you've got quite a few USB 3, a USB 3.2 Gen 2, um, and a pretty uh, nice, robust uh, audio as well. So. Okay, so that's the motherboard in general. Let's go ahead and start putting it together. We're gonna to start putting our CPU together. <clears throat> okay, so popping this out. So we're gonna stick this in, just goes in there sideways like this. I will say, man, there's a lot of room. One thing I think, I'm guessing that the Z63 would fit very nicely and not, like I'm looking at the amount of room around the socket which is something else that I think they did a really good job of. I'm guessing one of the things that you'll notice when you use their Z series uh, AIOs is that it'll push up against uh, the dims on the right hand side, but this looks like it's got a lot of room to make sure that doesn't happen. So something else, um, if you're using an NZXT AIO, that may be potentially worth uh, checking out here. I see Sniper says ASRock makes the board. Okay, yeah, that's what I, I had actually, I, again, I, will, I have asked I've actually asked, um, I've actually asked uh, um, Andy as well, but that's, that's, I think that's what I, I had heard. That's what I had heard earlier. So uh, I'm pretty sure. It makes sure. sense. I mean, they make, they make the Razor one, so. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, right? And Azrock makes yeah, a good board. Yeah. The same kind of, they look similar. Yeah. I should say. Okay, so again, popping this off. And these are very popular boards um, from a cost perspective. Two twenty nine. Um, like I felt like I like if you look at the if you look at the um, 
uh, wish list that I made, um, you can see other boards that are around that same price. I think I chose like an MSI board, um, which was like had similar a similar number of features, um, which is pretty nice as well. So I'm not saying one way or the other. Again, we haven't done a lot of in-depth testing. This is the first time I've actually opened the board, but from an aesthetic purposes and just sheer functionality purpose and design purpose, I like the way the board looks. Um, but if there's cooling issues or anything like that, I have never had that problem. Again, I've used a lot of the old, previous generations of these boards, um, and it's good to see that they're listening to feedback because this right here, um, just the magnetic thing makes me think um, that uh, they are listening to it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is install our dims. Uh, these are 3,600 megahertz. I think they're CL18. Again, there's a little slot right here on the side uh, of the PCB. Just put it in equal pressure. Oh, ooh, that was a good ooh. one. Ooh, that's a solid yeah. click. For motherboard recommendation, if you're looking for quality CPU click. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, ooh. oh, ooh. ooh, peel first. Oh, is there a peel on this? No, there's no peel on this, guys. There's no peel. It's already peeled. Uh, okay. We've, we've used this stuff before, so it's okay. not new. Okay, so uh, I just heard back from Andy. He actually said that the boards are made by both. They actually designed the board, and ASRock helps with the manufacturing, but they NZXT does design the board. <clears throat> so there you go. There is your, there is directly from the horse's mouth. <sighs> Oops, and let's put this on right. Directly from the horse's mouth in terms of, of the motherboard. So the motherboard is produced and manufactured by um, uh, ASRock, but it is actually um, uh, designed by NZXT. So there we go, pulling this out. I wonder if I, I only got one screw here, guys. Okay, well, uh, I only got one screw, so I'm just gonna install a single, I, I'm pretty sure, again, this is a sample. So I, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is not a retail problem. It's just they only gave me a single screw in my sample. So we're just gonna stick one in so we can make sure we boot it. <clears throat> that is true. I know, Live Chan, we're just messing things up. What are people gonna do? It's like putting pineapple on pizza, which I like pineapple on pizza. I like pineapple on pizza. It's like eating bubble waffles without the cream. Oh, that is just You terrible. monster. Monster of a person. It's like, it's like eating hot dogs. It's like eating corn dogs and calling them hot dogs. Not the you same. You monster. Uh, memory is 3600 megahertz. Uh, it's CL18 though. So it's, uh, it's got loose timings. Do M.2s, I said the M.2s, do they vary? Um, you were asking questions. You were asking questions that I don't know what to say. Like, like the the Western Digital, the Intel, do they vary greatly? Yes. Yes. They they like everything from like the speed of the drive, uh, how long, uh, what the uh, what the endurance is. So it's not like if you buy like a uh, Intel SSD or a Seagate SSD that they're the same. Um, they're how they're manufactured. So the question was, it's a good question. I mean, um, well worth going in there is like people video. are asking, hey, um, if I was like, if I want to go and buy an NVMe SSD, oh, like that's, say for that's just me. Yeah, so if I was going to go buy an NVMe SSD and I was like, hey, um, if I like, if I chose like a, uh, Western Digital, uh, Western Digital uh, SN750 over a, uh, you know, an Intel 670P, is there really a difference? And the answer is yes, there is quite a bit of difference um, because um, for instance, the um, Intel is a QLC drive, which means uh, the amount of data that they write in a single cell is actually quad. So it'll run a ton of data, which means more than likely, um, as it's doing that stuff, because there's a lot of there's a lot of put, data put in a single cell, they have a tendency to wear down faster. Versus um, on a SN750 is an MLC, which is multi-level cell, which means it only runs it writes a smaller number of bits, which makes it more expensive, but the endurance of it is higher. And then the other thing too is like read speed, thermal, like the controller. Some have um, some have 
uh, RAM to help with um, uh, DRAM to help with buffering, um, all sorts of things. So there's actually quite a bit of difference, and that's actually where the prices come in. Um, one of the things that's a, to go. Huh? Would that be a good video? Yeah, we already did one. We talk about it. Of M.2s? Yeah. Not of M.2s in general, but just as we've done our reviews. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. There you go, top down right here. Yeah, I like the WD Black. Um, the SN850 is a great. Lord Vacco is absolutely right. So again, we got our M.2 installed. The best thing about it is just this. Nice, clean, easy. Love that magnet. I'm just going to tell it. Love the magnet. So I'm just telling at, at Andy over at NZXT. So again, uh, this is pretty much ready. Um, now we're gonna install, because the thing that's gonna be interesting, which I haven't done on this one, and so it's worth giving it a go here, is our air cooling. <clears throat> okay, so let's grab our massive MA620M. Looks like a motorcycle engine. <clears throat> here it is. Here we go right here. Popping this open. I'm gonna just, we're gonna test because again, I didn't check all my clearances both for the motherboard. If I would have followed my own advice on my own video, but when you do it 10 minutes, five minutes before the video, the, the stream goes live, sometimes you just don't follow your own advice. Okay, so here's our <clears throat> MA620M. Just gonna verify that we're not gonna be clearance issues. Ooh, that's good. No matter. Every time we use it, it's just a big boy. I'm like a, I'm like a monkey. I'm like checking it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, clip? <laughs> <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. I'm just being crazy. Um, there we go. Everybody's like, wow. Okay, so here we go right there. It's, it's, it's a, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a big, nice size air cooler. <laughs> it's so close, but it does fit. And I did a dance. Um, oh, a sub goal's reached. Oh, I need to, Wandy is very well letting me know that I need to change the sub goal. You, okay, so, I, I told you and you forgot. I did. You moved on to something else. Okay, so ending this goal, we're at 157. So we're on our way to an RT, uh, sorry, a 5600X. Uh, CPU, uh, 5600X giveaway. We need 300, we're at 157. There we go. Okay, next goal is up, guys. Okay, so let's go and grab our materials. But one of the things I really enjoy, we use an air cooler, especially an air cooler I've used before, is we get to uh, we get to do some uh, we get to do some uh, we get to do some uh, thermal paste painting, which is like my uh, like we're getting we get to do some chi and stuff like that. I need to buy some new thermal paste. Just need to buy some. You had I, I do, but it's all like, it's not, well, what is this? Arct Ooh, I'll try this one. Ooh, let's try this one. Arctic Silver. Ooh. Um, I, I like Cremique. That's my favorite, like, kind of brand, but I need to buy, like, some. This is Arctic Silver. What? Okay, I got a question. What happens if you mix brands? Um, I don't know. There's, there are different, there are probably nothing. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't have an answer to that question. Okay, so here we go right here. We're going to go to top down. We're using this Arctic... Arctic Silver 5. This looks dark. Here we go. You can get some Arctic Silver 5 in there. Pretty good amount there. Okay, there we go. We got some Arctic Silver 5 on there. Nice, nice uh, dispenser. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use our thermal spreader because I like it. I like painting. It's like a arts and crafts time on Roby Tech right now, guys. A nice thick thermal paste. Using an air cooler just because of the case. Yeah, I'm using an air cooler because of the case. <clears throat> well, honestly, this air cooler is more than capable of keeping this. And I mean, look at the air cooler. It's yeah, it's it's more huge. than capable. Lots of, like how many? One, two, three, four, six heat pipes, ceramic. It's got a beautiful. Uh, it's got a very nice fan in the center. Um, the one thing that's hard, and honestly, the only reason is the one thing that becomes hard about like specifically Cooler Master air coolers is unlike Noctua, like there's not a good configurator to really know. And again, because TDP, which is a number that used to mean a whole lot more back in the day until like we started like doing boost clocks and stuff like that, used to mean something. 
like it, you just really don't have a clear way of knowing whether it's capable of cooling without just doing your own testing or doing research on the interwebs. So, so I'm some of this is like a little bit of a leap of faith because I'm assuming Trippy Skills is asking, have you heard of a memory demand coming? Saw where China had shortages of HDDs and SSDs. Yeah, because of there's a new cryptocurrency that you, there's a new crypto mining thing that you can do with SSDs. So that is causing oh, now okay. a new shortage because now there's a, so and so Seagate, Seagate, Seagate's already time. responded and saying they've seen a spike um, in, um, in sales because of this. Cryptocurrency is like- Destroying everything. No, well, I mean, come on, how, it's hard. And I'm not saying I condone it, um, but like, it's essentially printing money. Like how, huh, of course it's gonna, like, it's like if you could, like a lot of people are like, I wish I had a money tree. Well, you with cryptocurrency, you can. It's like, you know, and so, if yeah. you can find ways to just essentially print money with hashing, you know, why wouldn't you? And that's kind of what people are doing. So it makes it hard. It's like, oh, here, I can use this card for entertainment or I can like then go use it to go print money. Danny so, G, thanks for the sub. There we go. We've got a nice, good Two pink, John. Sub. <sighs> okay. Clean this off. Okay. We've got that done now. What we're gonna do is grab our materials. Pretty straightforward on this particular build. I don't need to worry about that. All I need is RGB, we'll plug right into the, oh, well, we'll need to actually something a little bit longer. I forgot about that. Oh, this does require, I forgot this does require a, um, it's not as nice as the other one. Okay, so I need the, gonna remember what I need. I need the AM4 one, wow. which I think is already set up, yeah. The data announced a 500% sales increase because of the... Yeah, that's AM4, mining. it's already set up. And then we need the posts, okay. Yep. Classically schooled, thank you for the sub, the prime sub. Okay, what we're doing is just grabbing the other parts for my... Sorry, messenger. It is coming. And then Our which merch store is coming. Yeah, sorry guys, it is taking longer than we anticipated. A little bit, some of that having still to do with the pandemic, but uh, we're getting there. Um, and then I need four of these. Okay, there we go. That's everything I need for that. We're gonna use this for our cool our thing. Okay, there's everything we need to install our AI our or not our AIO, our cooler. Burner -ner -ner -ner. Yeah, I know I actually got, I know one of the uh, tech specialists sent me a uh, talking point about some NVIDIA news. I didn't get a chance just um, <clears throat> to, to take a read. So I don't actually know what it says, but I know there was some some NVIDIA news that happened today um, that I haven't had a chance to uh, read up on. I know they said something about the hash limited uh, GPU start shipping in May. I don't know if- Yeah. So, rumor is the 3080 Ti has a release date. We don't, obviously Nvidia hasn't announced anything, but the rumor is it's May 26th um, is the release date for the 3080 Ti. JW 
Colin Brown, thank you for the tier one sub. Okay, let's grab our thing off the bottom. Here we go. There we go. Okay, you got that up. Okay, cool. Now we grab our little posts here. Screw those on. Screw that on. Screw you. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so our posts are in. Now we're gonna do is grab our mount things. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay, now we put these on here. Like this, like thus. Scrolls down. Boom. One more on the other side. Boom. Make sure it's a little bit tight, nothing crazy. Uh, by not using this one, apparently, use this one. Oh, they really don't. They do not want you using a screwdriver. They just want it finger tight. Okay, cool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, take our giant, giant. There we go. Screw this down. There we go. Oopsie. There we go. There we go, that stopped. And there we have it. Installed. There we go. All installed, ready to go, cleaned up. And again, just so you guys know, if you look on the back here, we'll zoom out a bit. Not quite. There we go. If you zoom in in the back here, you can actually see that the airflow, uh, how the airflow is basically set up. So it's basically airflow for this is going directly like this. Yeah, it is crooked. I noticed that too. Why is it crooked? It doesn't make any sense. Why is it crooked? I noticed that too. It is crooked, isn't it? Yeah, why is it crooked? Oh, I wonder. Oh, I know why it's crooked. Crud. I'll fix it. Which I put those standoffs in wrong. These must not be in the right spot. Yeah. Make sure this is in the right spot. I 
I have these. The when when you well, like first thing you got to do is you got to check. That's in the right. That's in the right. Make sure the holes are in the right spot. Okay. See, and these you have to sit flat. I bet you I didn't sit these flat. Just flip the right one. I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, no, I see what he's see. I see what they're saying. These are, um, no, these are all like the, the thing is, this is not lining up. Okay, there it is. The ones aren't sitting flat, so I gotta see. There we go, that's sitting the right way now. And you just gotta make sure the holes are in the right place. That's now, right? There we go. No, it's not. It's still not even. Did you put them upside down? Mm, no, there's only... I might switch this it might be it might be important to do them in the right order so switch the directions yeah i'm gonna rotate them that's what i'm gonna do now flip it pop it I think the key is to make sure that it's also flat. There's like some, there's a flat, like if it doesn't sit right. And so if it doesn't sit right, which is what I'm not having happen here. Hmm. There we go. Now it's, see that? It's not sitting right. I'm gonna say the top left screw looks higher than the top right screw on the bracket. That is straight now. Yeah, that's straight now. I'm just gonna line it up and then we'll put more. I'm just gonna start this. very easy to install so it's not going in that's because this is too loose too heavy Okay, so now does that look oh shoot that's still not in there we go there we go 
Okay, that is in now. It doesn't, it doesn't look straight. I can't, I don't think, does it look straight? No. Yeah, it, I can't tell. I'm going to tighten it all the way because some of that could have to do with just they're not fully tightened. Yeah, compared to the ram, it's not. Well, some of that. <clears throat> no, yeah, it's not, is it? I'm almost saying the, the screw up here. The one in the top right? The top left looks higher. Like that hole looks higher than the top But it, the thing right. is, is the brackets have fixed. So the bracket they would have be fixed, like that. They have fixed lengths though, so that wouldn't even make sense. Well, if the bracket ends up being like that, because the holes Oh, are I see, because the holes aren't quite aligned? Yeah, it's what someone was saying, the holes aren't I don't know aligned. if there's something I'm gonna be able to do. Yeah, I don't know if there's something I can do to make it. It's, it's definitely better than it was. Like last time it was like blatantly uh, uh, it was blatantly like uh, blatantly off. So it is definitely better, but there's not a whole lot I can do. I know it's seated correctly. So, okay, so we're gonna put our CPU fan in and uh, go from there. And let's get this into the case. Well, we've used this cooler before. This isn't the first time. Guys. No, we haven't. Like I definitely, it's definitely not. I've gotten it. Like we, this is the first time, but we've only used it on like really big, really small motherboards actually, which is kind of interesting. I just realized. I, I don't think we've we actually. Have, we? I guess we haven't ever done it with like a full size, and maybe because of that, like we didn't see the problem was an exasp, like it wasn't as noticeable. But yeah, a couple of people have said that the yeah, holes they've... look off. Yeah, it could have just been. It could just be an issue with the holes. Again, this is a sample motherboard, guys, so it may not be the same thing in retail. Okay, so we go. So our our our. Uh, what was Trying to get this to go in here. There you go. And then we have our one cable, which is our RGB. Okay, so there we go. All oh, everything's yeah. hidden. Camera looks like it, it just needs to go clockwise, just a tiny bit. The Counter what? counterclockwise. The cooler. Yeah. yeah. But there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able right. to. I can't. I can't fix right. it. Right. Okay, so we got everything ready for the motherboard. The motherboard's completely prepped. Ugh. Let's get it into our case, and then we'll update. We'll do our case. We'll do our uh, our um work here. Ugh. Okay, let's put this down. There we go. Um, now what I need is our thing. Ugh. Reach. How's YouTube doing right now? <clears throat> Got 374 likes on YouTube. Okay, making sure our I.O. shield is not pulled through. Now, the one thing is about this motherboard is unlike using wow sticks or anything like that, you do have to use a more traditional screwdriver um, just because um, the... Uh, I kind of forgot to get the stuff out. <laughs> uh, you will need to use a more traditional screwdriver because the holes to get to the screws um, are, uh, like there's some depth to them. Um, I feel like it's funny cause like I've had to do circumstances where I'm like, oh, I really need to use another one. Then you can take all of the plastic off, mount it. So if you don't have a traditional screwdriver, you can take all of this off and then mount the motherboard and then put it back on. But it's kind of a pain in the butt. I'll just be transparent. Pain in the butt. <laughs> pain in the butt. Okay. Nice quality, nice quality, uh, Zip dry, zip ties. Now 
Okay, now we're gonna grab all of our... Okay. Yeah, let's get our, let's get our stuff in here. Okay, here we go, getting our screws in. It's where it's nice to have like multiple screwdrivers when you're installing a uh, motherboard. I think this one. There we go. Back on. Oh my gosh. Put that in. Okay, there's that. A couple more. New egg shuffle or uh, EVGA, EVGA's website? Both. That's how you get a 37. Oh, yeah, yeah. Both. Yeah, and do them both. I said or. Yeah. Ooh, shoot. No, no giveaways have happened yet. No, they always happen near the end. Okay. Next ones. Understand if you do the EVGA one, uh, no, it's just going to take a long time. There we go. Ooh, that's a height. Okay. What's up, Bernie? How's it going? Oh, uh, he has the wow stick. He just isn't. He's not using it it's, on the motherboard. It's it's because the uh, it's because the wow stick won't reach. Um, down into the little crevasses that this mo this motherboard has because of what it is. I'm going to use it here in a sec when we install all of our fans, which is just what we're just about to do. Oh, you know, not so bad. Okay, so there we go. All of our, our motherboards installed. It's funny because we don't have an AIO, so it's not going to take. We're like we're actually in pretty quick, pretty good shape. Um, what we are going to do is we'll we'll grab that RGB here in a second, pull that down. But we're gonna what we're gonna do is install our fans, add more RGB fans because you need more RGB, um, and then hook that stuff up. But I am gonna quickly go to here, go to our cam link, and grab our put that in like that, and then there we got our in the Pacific Northwest. Connect our RGB, the RGB hub. There we go. Cool, done. Okay, so now our RGB is hooked up. Again, we have like no rubber grommets on the other side here, which is kind of weird. Um, but now let's go ahead and get our case fans installed. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of RGB case fans, grab our wow stick because people are disappointed. Okay, we're gonna remove this one. Oop, that's not our wow stick. Wow stick. Wow stick. Wow. There we go. And zero, thank you for the tier one sub. There we go. Okay. Get rid of this bad boy. And 
And we're not going to use this, even That's though we could. 703, thank you for the tier one sub. I think they, they actually give us special screws for these. Um, I got to look it up. It's that box. What do they do with it? The box. The white box. Right here. The white one? Not this one. There's another white box. Oh, here it is. Oh. oh, they give you long screws for... Um, Long screws, and then this has actually a four-pin four like hub connection for these fans. It's actually pretty Whoa, cool. bacon is not overrated, man. Wow, this is like fancy. Okay, we have very long fan cables for these uh, for their RGB and everything else. We're gonna run this up here. I have a mic. Okay, grab our connection here. Make sure our RGB is all set. Yeah, I'm on. Hmm, this is like, there we go. Probably have some stuff blocking it, so the fact that this stuff is in the way is making it not focus on the case. Get that out of the way. There you go. There we go. Throw these Antec in here. There we go, and one more. Okay, so there's our rear exhaust fan. This is a four pin, so that's not gonna work with this. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work with this fan hub, but um, we do have the ability to daisy chain all of our RGB. So let me go ahead and hook this up to here, the RGB. And then we'll daisy chain the other ones. There we go. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna install another fan. These are gonna be interesting. And these are the ones that are unique to this case. Um, not the, not these, um, the fan that they gave me is different, but the uh, actual RGB, um, the fact that the, they actually have this specially designed mount for the fan. So we're gonna install these. Um, and so these will be direct airflow for the, if this would go through here, may not work. Okay, that's okay. Just gonna put these in. And you can actually install up to two of them at the bottom if you wanted to, just to give like a ton of airflow directly to the, the GPU. It just, it just pull it up from the PSU. Yeah, that's it cool. basically pulls, yeah. I'm just gonna use the front one I'm because again, the PSU is gonna, the PSU is gonna cause a ton of impedance. So I'm just gonna do one up at the front and it'll it'll blow directly into the part of the Aorus fan, the Aorus GPU, um, that needs the most airflow. So it's kind of cool. And they give you everything, uh, including the specific, like it uses very specific screws. These are very, they're almost like radiator screws, but thicker uh, to mount the fans directly to the bottom of the case. And I'm doing them in an intake intake formation versus a exhaust. So we're gonna be basically intaking air directly from the back of the case. Mm, 
that's going to be... Use my fingers. Oh, I know what I can use. I'll have to use my special... Short? Nope. I don't have a short screwdriver, but I do have a bendy screwdriver. Bendable, bendable, and there we go. Now we've got our rear. Okay, and then what? the only other fan we're gonna install is just to create a better, so we'll have three intake and three exhaust. So one more fan for a total of six fans in this case, right here at the top as an exhaust as well. If you were to side mount an AIO on here. You can't. Would it be exhaust? If you're gonna, you can't, how would you side mount an AIO? You mean front maybe mount? Not, maybe not on this case in particular, but if you had a it setup depends, like it this? Depends on the, it depends on the case. Okay. The, yeah, it totally depends on the case. So we're gonna put this right here as exhaust. I need screw fans. Oh, I just put away, oh, there we go. I need four screw, down, screw fans. Four screw fans, give me screw fans. There we go. Okay, so we've got three intake, three exhaust. Oh, sorry. We have four intake, two exhaust. Sorry. And, uh, which is fine. I need to use this one, because. And we're gonna put this in the back, so we're gonna get extra exhaust right out of the back of the cooler. I mean, the yeah, the CPU cooler. And again, I don't want to put any more because you're going to steal air directly from the cooler. So it's going to get tons of fresh air from the front fans. The, C the GPU is going to get direct air as well. There we go. And then we'll give you, when we run, when we test this, We'll give you some GPU thermals as well as CPU thermals. You guys can see some differences here. In case and see I need one more screw fan. One more screw fan. Okay, there we go. All of our fans are installed now. Unique fan configuration. Okay, cool. Um, we should be able to, because given where our fan stuff we can use, we can pl plug these directly into the motherboard, so I'm not worried about that. Did I miss that? What'd you miss? CKCC dropping 100 subs. Whoa, CK! Is he back? What's up, CKCC? 100 community, what's up, buddy? How are you? Um, uh... How uh, how I know that you've been, uh, so CKCC, a longtime supporter. Um, I know he's been dealing with some hospitalization stuff. So, hey, thank you very much for the 100 subs, my friend. And then uh, I hope you are doing well. I know um, that you have been dealing with some health stuff. So um, it's good to see you back and have you back in there. I hope your kid, your son, I think your son is watching. He loves, he loves to watch uh, the channel. So thank you for the support. And then thank you for, uh, I'm glad, it's good to see you, my friend. I know, uh, I know, I know that uh, uh, Psycho and Vega, um, honestly, uh, they came in at different times. Um, so uh, I know that they're not used to having your uh, you popping in and dropping the the big subs. Um, so <laughs> um, anyway, it's good to see you again. Um, um, okay, so we actually have all of the, so now if you, I'll show you guys here, front view so you guys can see how we actually have this set up. Old Trinity is in the building. Yeah, the full, <laughs> no, we're missing, we're missing a couple of people. We're missing Drafaz, another one who's done just massive support. So Drafaz, um, who actually is the one who built the most expensive PC I've ever built on the channel, that he was the owner. So CKCC, oh, it's good to see him back. Um, so we, so it's good to have all of them. And again, I think CKCC out of all of them, uh, Vega is getting a PC built. Uh, his is two weeks away. Um, Psycho is getting a PC built. So someday we'll build CK one too. Yeah, Drafaz was here. Okay, so we actually had all of them, which was pretty awesome. So it's good to see you and welcome back, my friend. Um, that was a dual 3090 build, yes. 
Uh, it was the ten thousand dollar dual thirty ninety build. That like I was literally like, please turn on, please turn on. When I finally turned it on, because I was like so nervous. That build was so crazy. Um, okay, so here we are, guys. Uh, just to give you some unique look, Burks we got CG. three intake. Uh, we've got uh, sorry, four intakes. We've got three at the bot, three at the three on the front, and a single intake actually on the bottom, directly into the um, GPU. And then we've got a uh, two exhausts, one right above and one right below, right behind to pull the warm air directly off of the CPU, as well as any air that we get off of the GPU. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty pretty cool setup that we actually have right here. Um, it would be worth testing again. Um, I wouldn't want to pull air this way. I think this is still an ideal situation, but um, uh, pretty cool. Let's get it hooked up real quick and then uh, we'll uh, start the uh, other process. This is not, this is gonna be hard to uh, cable manage, I'll be honest. Uh, CG, thank you for that sub. Just because they don't give you a ton of, why is this? Oh, this is our, our other rear one. Okay, so they don't give you a ton of cable management. Like the, the cables aren't very long. So we'll just, we'll have to zip time to clean them up. That's what, there's a giant cooler for the CPU. There's fans in there. Okay, there we go right there. This is all our stuff for this. And then what we're gonna do is take this one, this last fan right here, and plug this directly into our last daisy chain. There we go. Okay, so all of our fan RGBs hooked up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try, this needs to get, this needs to get, we've got a fan, we've got a fan. I think I'm trying to think of where we have fan connections here. We've got two in the top left corner. So we've got one up here that we can use for fans. We're just gonna get all our fans hooked up. And I think I've got, need to hook. We'll get that hooked up here in a minute. This is not important. We'll make it look pretty here in a, a little bit, but. Lots of like weird random twisty ties on all this stuff. Like why is this twisty tied? Okay, just getting rid of all our twisty, random twisty ties. It's like they, they have like the cables made to be shorter um, and so they twisty tied them everywhere. And so I'm just getting rid of all the twisty ties real quick. And then we'll hook up our front panel connections and then we'll do some like legit um, cable management and get this all cleaned up. Make it look good. Okay, so we got all that stuff. Um, okay, what I need now is I need all of my fans. There's one right here. I think this one will run up here. Uh, we need RGB. Okay, so here's our RGB. This is power for the hub. I'm gonna split that off. This is for motherboard. Take this little plastic thing off. Wow. Okay, that is ugly. There we go. Like the world's like largest tags. Thank you for letting us know, but they're like massive. It's like, it's almost like the scarlet letter. <laughs> okay, got that off. And I think, okay, so this is our fan for the hub. Uh, these, does this, like, do I have all the fans? This is a fan that we also need up here. Okay, so there's our fans. And then we have front panel connections. Those go in here. Those actually go like right here. Front panel is gonna go right here. And then that is not important. Okay, now where is all of our, okay, here's our USB stuff.
Oh, HD audio, that goes down there. I was like, what is that cable? Using a Antec Prism 120 ARGB fans. Yeah. Okay, this, which is our USB 3.2, is gonna go right here. And then we Red do not have, U, we do not have USB-C. We have two USB 3 and no USB-C. Okay, so that is, that is all of our cables and our front panel. So now what we're gonna do is turn this over, get all this stuff hooked up, and then we're getting dangerously close because then I just got cable management and then we put in our GPU and PSU and we're done. Oh, this is RGB. Uh, this also goes over here along with this. Okay. okay, there we go. All of our cables are on the other side. Ugh. Hopefully they don't fall out. Okay, so USB 3 right here. USB 3 is the first one. Uh, interesting because it's on the side here, so it's like gonna go. I wonder if I might be able to plug this in. There we go. USB Eddie three. Hot Rod, thank you for the gifted tier one sub. Oh no. I'm gonna have to move this, unfortunately. Chat was saying that. I was trying to get it mounted so I had the cable, but yeah. Can't see the uh, power supply, can't see the front panel stuff. So order of operations learning. Rev, thank you for the Community sub. 274, guys. Looks like we're going to give away a GPU. I mean, a, uh, sorry, a, a, a PSU today. Sorry, a freaking CPU. CPU. Why don't I say the right words? Hey, it had a U in it. And it's all that matters, okay? Okay, there we go. We're gonna get this off of the side. Okay, so here we have our, oh, we have a couple up here. We have two fans that I'm gonna plug in up here. Big Justin TV, thank you for the sub. There we go. And just getting all our fans hooked up. Okay, one more fan that popped down. Okay, PWM. So there's two more fans down here. I'll zoom in and show you guys everything that I've plugged in so you guys have an idea. There we go, there's our fans. Our RGB goes right here. There we go. HD audio. Jeez. CKCC, thank you for the 25. 25 more subs, subs, my friend. And he takes us to 300. So now we're on our way to a 5800X, the same CPU we actually are putting inside this build. Okay, so setting up the next giveaway. No, it is not an NZXT, it's an uh, Antec case. There we go. Next goal is up, guys. Okay. Um, front panel connections. We're gonna plug these in real quick. I wish these were. I wish this was an NZXT case because NZXT gives you that really nice, um, really nice, uh, like just all in one clip for putting this stuff in. But the Antec is like not everybody does that. In fact, I think I don't know. For some reason, I feel like they have a patent on it because I don't see anybody else who does that. I see people have like little adapters that you can put on it. I don't see anybody who like does what they do specifically. Okay, this is gonna have Can't to go. Read that name. John Me sixty four. Thank you for the prime sub. couple things that kind of come in like that become 
interesting is like when you have like the shielding, like little things like being able to easily install your front panel connectors. Some little things. Annoying. Problem is, is that I can't quite. Yeah, I'm gonna separate this more. Oh, come on, stick. Doesn't have like the greatest grip on it. Wow, that's annoying. take the shield off yeah but i don't need to it's actually the problem isn't the front panel the problem is the um it's the the grip on the front panel connections for this particular case are really weak they're easy to pull off gotcha. and so they don't grip the pins all that strongly and it just makes it a little bit more challenging than what it should be Fusion oh, Stormlord, thank you for the six months. Here too. Thank you very much, dude. Okay. I think we actually have all of the cables now. We're gonna push all this stuff down and then I'll walk you guys through what I hooked up. We have one more cable I need to hook up. Okay. Now I have one more like random this right here came out. We were going to go with an AIO. Roby changed his mind. Because of the unique nature of this case, it's actually pretty, it's like ideally set up for a air cooler. So just kind of taking advantage of that. Okay, so let's walk you guys through real quick. And the box just shows a white motherboard, even though it's black. Okay, so uh, let's walk you guys through real quick what we just hooked up. Took a little longer to hook up our front panels than it normally does. Can't really see, let's get that out of the way. Okay, so we'll walk in there. So what I hooked up is I hooked up up here at the top. We have two, our, two, of, our front, two of our fans. Uh, the two exhaust fans are both hooked up right here on the system fan connection. Uh, down here, we don't have USB-C, which is unfortunate, but we did plug in our USB 3.2. Uh, so that's right there. Down here at the bottom, we have our front panel connections uh, plugged in. Uh, then we have two more fans. Uh, one, is the, uh, one is basically uh, our intake fan for the GPU, and the other one is our uh, PWM fan for the hub. Over here, we have our RGB connection. Uh, for uh, basically all of the RGB. It's got an RGB hub. And then finally, we've got HD audio. So that's all hooked up. Next thing I'm gonna do is just quickly re-plug in our, oops, it's gotta be intake. So I'm gonna re-plug in real quick our intake fan for the GPU. Use the wow stick and push that through. And there we go. All of our fans are, all of our stuff is now hooked up. Okay, cool. Now we get to do the fun job of this Turning mess. It on. This oh, wait, mess. No, sure. Yeah, this mess, unfortunately. Hello, Fry's Gaming Official. Okay. Okay, so now all this is done. What I'm gonna start working on is getting our things into channels to kind of get things cleaned up here. A little bonkers. Now I am not keeping this build. I know a lot of people are sad. They're like, wait, I would take it. I know you would, <clears throat> but 
And I'm actually excited to see what the thermals are like with this case. Now we start making it look good. Oh, I'm going to zoom out. Okay, zoom out so you guys can see this as I do more of this stuff. Thank you for the bit, anonymous fear. That corner already looks way better. Uh, clean, kind of cleaned up the top. And I want to get this out of this space right here so we don't have uh, stuff sticking in the side here. I think Streamlabs is just starting to realize that there's a hundred subs drop. Oh, really? Just It's just catching up. Okay, let's get this out of here. What we're going to do right now is, again, random twisty tie. Why? Don't know. We're going to get it out of the way here. Okay. Okay. Getting all of our stuff out of here and get it into a single channel in the center right now. We don't have an ugly A situation here. I don't want that showing, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw one here. Roby, how's your day going? It's going good. I'm in cable management mode. That always makes me happy. I love cable management. This is like the, this is like, can you make two pretty best friends work right here? Cat was just wondering how you're doing. Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm just literally into, it's always like the fun part, as weird as it sounds, I like to cable manage and make something look cleaner. So I'm like, that's what I'm working on right now, which is always like for me, a hoot nanny. Can you say hoot nanny? Hoot nanny. So what I'm working on right now, like my, my cable management goal is to get everything into a single like, channel and then it'll look better everybody's oh, like who's at the end of the music yep we're just at two hours which means pay attention hype train is just around the corner we uh hype train took a little while to activate Choo -choo. today not that you guys didn't kill it in terms of yeah, overall gold ckcc already dropped their subs well it just means more than likely maybe we'll give away a 5800x Okay, so again, now we've got that. Do you have a cable management tutorial on YouTube? It's coming, it's coming. It's another one of the, it's part of our plan, our build planning and build execution series. So it is coming. I know it's one of those ones that's like highly requested. What about, uh, is there, do you wanna be one about selecting case fans? Uh, fan one we didn't plan on doing. I know we just did a whole one about like how, like if you use the airflow guide I just did, mm -hmm. it kind of, covers some of that but okay. if there's enough demand maybe that's something we can we can do an additional one on just fans um but i did one on uh i did a good one on just basically airflow which we just like i said just came out right. you want to check that one out so can we get a link to that one guys uh that'd be great mods if we can get a link to the latest youtube video is there going to be a video on which cpu is right for which user um, no, actually we're doing an interesting one, which is like we're doing a YouTube video uh, that is if can pros tell the difference. Uh, there should be one that like might be a good one in terms of like prosumer versus um, uh, prosumer versus uh, uh, like like if your thread ripper is right for you and stuff like that. Mm. We're actually going to do a video uh, to Kata and a bunch of uh, I have some Halo pros that can pros tell the difference between AMD and Intel CPUs with uh, all of the high-end stuff. 
Because it's one of those things that like a lot of people will become like, well, you can't do, it's like, you know, it's like in the end, really, when you really get down to it, and I'm testing a hypothesis. The answer is more than likely no. And these guys are running, you know, their best games at top end, ultra, all that sort of stuff. Um, and uh, yes, it is a lot of tweezers, but it's to make the build look good. Cole Martin is calling you out and saying the Valentine's build was a cop out. Why? Oh, we have an all pink build coming, guys. Athena Nocturna, who is one of the uh, who is one of my uh, friends from uh, the Mixer days, is actually having has commissioned a full pink build. So do not worry, there is a pink build coming, and it has a purpose. Okay, so now yes, we're doing a lot of tweezers, but we're doing tweezers to build. Looking for a case re resurrection, uh, case recommendation. Uh, talk to a uh, tech specialist, or I have a video coming out next week about choosing cases so you can actually just uh, figure it out yourself. So we, but we actually have a video uh, about go. building, about selecting the right case and what makes a good case and all that sort of Pros stuff. Pros wouldn't use Mac settings for competitive play. No, but the point is, is that I'm saying that you would even still uh, choosing the right settings at 360 hertz or whatever it was the point is is that they would never uh they won't they wouldn't know so, so uh you're building this pc in a unicorn onesie right yeah no oh yeah that's right that was like a long time I, don't, I need to buy another one my daughter stole my original one that i paid for so we might have to do an i might have to buy another unicorn onesie i know that was something that the community paid for a long time ago and i never actually did that stream cold martin says you owe her i do i do i do owe her I don't owe her, I owe the community a unicorn onesie stream. And uh, I also owe the unicorn, the, the other one that came up there is people said I should build a PC in a hot tub. Because uh. hot tub streams are so hot right now. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be a hot tub that's like filled with water. That's not necessarily a good thing to build. <laughs> well, and he said, are we talking about that again? <laughs> while eating corn dogs. Can you see on a hot top? Where's my, oh. You guys wanna see like, here's <laughs> Really, <the thing>. sir? <laughs> People are like, hilarious. Come on, that, you know I would get a ton of viewership. I'd only do it once though, is build a PC in a hot tub. I wanna do it just because, to make fun of hot tub streams. And bubble waffles. <laughs> and, like basically put all of the like big clickbait stuff into a single giant like stream, like bubble waffles. Save it for OnlyFans. Oh no. That <laughs> Rad again. equals Roby after dark. Okay guys, we at least have channels going here now. So way more, uh, way more controlled here. That is crazy in terms of just stuff everywhere. Okay, now we have this rat's nest. Needs to get fixed. What is, this is power, right? No, that's not power. What is, this is like just some rant. Did I, is this a cable I completely forgot to actually put in any of the, yep, it was. Stuff that I, where is my, See my zip tie cutter? No. It's bright and red. Where is it? Bright red? I'll look in this room. Oh, it's right here. Like, literally, I'm blind. Okay. So I had like this random cable that didn't get channeled. Now we have all the cables managed and into their channel, and then we can fix this like rat's nest down below. 
go from there. Okay, now let's get this fixed. Figure out how we're gonna do this, because these are like a bit of a mess. I wonder if I can get this. That was weird. That was weird. And we had like a weird snafu here that like our screen just like ran, our, our preview screen just shut off and then came back on. It's like it's haunted. It's haunted. Mm. Good 001 says, hey Roby, quick question to you. Okay. Do you like ice cream? And if so, which flavor? Uh, I like pralines and cream. That is my, uh, I, I really like, if I was gonna say my favorite flavor of ice cream, I'm a huge fan of pralines and cream. Where okay. do you even find that? Like at Baskin and Robbins. Um, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of places. I don't even know what pralines is. They're kind of nut, but they're okay. sweet. Anyway, I don't know. Anybody else like a pralines and cream fan? Just curious. Do I have any other pralines and cream fans? I'm willing to give it a go. Uh, Poncho, what is your what's Poncho's wish? I just noticed he's he's got a wish, and I like look up, and all of a sudden I see I'm getting my, not getting my wish, and that makes me sad. But that does not necessarily mean you will still get your wish. <laughs> Depends on what your wish is. Some people's wishes are like, yeah, that's not happening. Um, where can I get Roby's jersey? Uh, it's an Envious jersey. Um, I ordered it. Uh, actually, sorry, the Envious team gave it to me. Um, but uh, we are working with Meta to actually make Robitech eSport jerseys because I'm an eSports uh, fan. Okay, this is... Uh, I'm getting there. Just got to figure out how to get this little bit. Kinda. Some of these cables are now twisted in ways. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all this to just kind of clean it up here. I don't see what it is. He's cleaned up, and now all of a sudden we have a much cleaner looking build. To do cable management as Bob Ross. Maybe for, uh, maybe I dress as Bob Ross for Halloween. And then do a cable management Bob Ross episode. I, I'm, I'm willing to give pralines and cream a try once I get to a Baskin Robbins. They actually have them like, ooh, mint chocolate chip. That's a good one. Cookies and cream. You know, I like, cookies I like a homemade van vanilla ice cream. I think that it just depends. Like, I've had, like, eats. terrible homemade vanilla ice cream. Oh. That was a terrible person. And I've never whoever, talked, whoever talked to them that. again. Never talked to them again. <laughs> I never, and I never talked to them again. They ruined vanilla ice cream for me. Okay. You know what I didn't know I liked was pistachio... I like pistachio ice cream too. Not ice cream, um, like a jello type thing that my aunt make. Pretty tasty. This one cable. There it goes. This one cable is just like twisted inside. Banana pudding's pretty good too. Yeah, that makes a big difference. Okay. Now we can. Vanilla bourbon at La Casa Gelato in Vancouver. That's very specific. Vancouver, BC, or? I don't think they're talking about Vancouver, Washington. Most people Maybe. aren't when they talk about Vancouver. Except that'd be pretty interesting. Like, yeah, in Vancouver, Washington, you'd be like, all right, legit. All right, taking a trip down there. What is that? That's supposed to be connected to something. Oh, did I unplug something? Yeah, I did. I just completely unplugged this RGB connection. It's okay. Still trying to... Okay, we are finishing our cable management here. Getting closer because we took the time to untwist BC. things and... Vancouver, BC. Of course. Usually what people mean. Just like when they talk about Washington, it's DC and not the state. 
I don't know. I think the, a lot. Of, I guess it depends. Yeah, I think a lot. Of, I know a lot of people who talk about Seattle for sure. I'm from Seattle. Okay, guys. We I like. I have ML fans in my PC. I just put them in. They're, they're great. They're quiet. Yes. Which is a pro. Okay, this is the last clump here. And we'll have all of our cables actually cleaned up. We're not looking so ragtag. What we want. Uh, I've trained. I didn't see a banner for it. We haven't done hype. We've had one. We haven't hit the second one. I know. It usually it there's says... a there's a blue there's usually a blue thing that pops up in art right. on like on my screen. They'll say like hype train cooldown is unlocked or whatever it is. We haven't seen that yet. There we go. Okay, let's get this hooked back up. The Zerk TX is from Kent. Oh, really? I ran into some guy uh, who was on the freeway um, who uh, I was driving. There it is. There it is. Okay, Hype Train is officially unlocked, guys. Um, second Hype Train is officially unlocked. I was on uh, four, uh, one, 405, and I was driving from Kirkland, and some guy like recognized me and rolled, made me roll down my window and said, hey, are you? And then he was like, I love your YouTube channel. It's pretty cool. First time I've had that happen in like rush hour traffic. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna get this last little bit done. Okay, we are close. For like all of the holding ones I've done just to finish this out. Ancho, thanks for the tier one gifted sub. Thank you for the 11 bits. Van Helsing 69. Okay. There we go. Uh, I believe he was. Were what? you rolling in the Porsche? Yeah, I was. Thank you for the thousand bits, Red Dragon Zombie. Van Helsing, thank you for the tier one sub. Slim Pickens 07, thank you for the tier one sub. Poncho, thank you for the 10 bits. Okay. There we go, hype train. Hype train is happening, guys. And I'm just literally finishing this last little, last little bit. Thank for seven bits. Ten bits. I like ten bits. Oh, I miss ten bits so much. Okay, there we go. Now we are good. Easy, thank you for the community sub. Five from the There we go. And we have tile. And we have some clean for the bits. 13 bits. 24 bits. Van Helsing. Iceberg. Thanks for the follow. Okay, guys, we've got a cable managed build. Many a zip tie died in the making of this cable management, but it's okay. That's what they're for. Drink the tank. Thank you for the five bits. I'm going to reconnect this up here in a second. Now we can basically use these. Janky bits. Thank you for the 100 bits. Use the bits. Use this to clean up our stuff here in a few. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for the level five hype train. Let's basically go through this. We got Blue Jay 509. Nine months. Happy nine month anniversary, Blue Jay. Welcome and thank you for being such a long-term part of our family. 15 bits, 80 bits, flatline 125. 324 guys, we're getting close, 192. Can we hit a thousand twice in a night? 
we can, we can. We're getting, uh, we're less than 125 away from giving away a 5800X, which is uh, awesome. And so thank you very much for all the support so far. Um, you guys are incredible. I love how much, so grateful for how often, how much you guys uh, support uh, Shake me. and bake, 70, 76. Thank you for that Prime sub. Hey, six months on Prime too. Thank you very much. Happy, happy anniversary. Now remember guys, two more chances today and tomorrow you have two more chances to basically get in on uh the uh sub only giveaway which is two rtx 3070s uh if you're over at youtube.com slash robytech or twitch.tv slash new egg pop on over to twitch.tv slash robytech uh and drop your free amazon prime subscription that could potentially help you walk away with a gpu we have a bunch of gpus that are shipping out uh today uh towards winners and so uh if you want to get on that we had two winners last month blue moo which i haven't seen actually blue moo and obviously uh also uh oh where's waldo uh, who won last month so we have two more chances tonight and tomorrow uh if you want to get extra entries from that uh gifting subs uh, is one way to get extra entries obviously and then finally uh the second one is basically uh subscribing tier two and tier three which are worth a bunch of extra entries uh, for your, uh, for winning as well. Um, so again, a uh, great opportunity to walk away with a GP that you really look for, um, and, uh, all that sort of stuff. Oh, Blue Moon was here earlier. Okay. Awesome. I didn't get a chance to go. Oh, he's silent. Oh, there he is. There's Blue Moon right there. Blue Moon right there. So again, another long-term supporter ended up winning an RTX 3070. So again, uh, dropping that, uh, is a great way. And let's see what we do. And then potentially, uh, you make things. CKCC dropping 20 more gifted subs. Um, we got, uh, some new follows, guys. Uh, coming up on 891 here on uh, Twitch right now. Uh, getting close to that 1K viewership mark as well. Um, yeah, Chris, CKCC is a beast. It's just so good. Uh, where What air cooler we're using is the uh, uh, Master Air MA620M. We're going to turn this over and get the rest of this hooked up in just a few minutes now that we've finished our, our stuff. So uh, X803X, five gifted community subs. Thank you very much, X803, for your uh, your support as well. Um, my G um, as well. So thank you very much for that. Ooh, calm down there, Robes. <clears throat> I'm doing good. Thank you very much for asking. A 655%, guys. One minute left. Let's see if we can unlock, let's see if we can get that 1,000%. I love it. And then we'll start the community giveaways uh, here in a second uh, once I, and then we'll get our GPU installed and our CPU installed, and we're getting really close to having this build done. I think the cable management on this actually came out very well, guys. I would have I to say. I would have to say so, uh, too. Jim the Almighty, thank you very much for the Prime subscription as well. Oh, I appreciate it, Easy Does It. X2, you are awesome. Thank you for saying such kind things. Put this in here, because that'll... I don't need this. Come on, guys. 48 seconds. We can do it. Let's uh let's end the night with uh well let's end the night and then we're getting ready to walk into the big one afterwards after this. Uh the RAM I'm using in this build is the XPG. Guys, we'll actually get links to builds so you guys can take a look at all of it stuff. There we go. From Red 200 Dragon bits. Zombie. There we go. Van Helsing. Thank you very much. Five gifted community subs. You are incredible. Appreciate you. 795. 30 seconds, we're 200% away, less than 100 away from the next, uh, from that next tier giveaway. No, that's it. Five, it's Hype Train has been successful. Um, so I appreciate you guys, and thank you for the one anonymous gifter, and then K Siraz, K Siraz uh, as well, doing a prime. 52 subs, 3,100 3, bits. You guys are awesome. Okay, who's ready to watch us finish the build? Who's ready to see the build be done? I think you guys are already. I love, <clears throat> well, this is always like the, the prime time we get to the end. Prime time to the end. Prime time. Let's, 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 get, let's see how the YouTubes is going. Yeah, how's our YouTubes like? Cause I'd like to start that, uh, yeah, oh. PSU smells coming up. How's YouTube likes mm, going along? Not so good. What are we at? 554. Guys, we need 150, sorry, 200, well, 150. Yes, 150 more likes over on YouTube. Head on over to youtube.com slash Robitech. Drop those likes. We'll give away two 500 gig NVMEs. We're gonna let that happen. Go ahead and drop over there. We can make that number climb pretty quick, guys. How many people we have watching over on YouTube right now? It's gotta be quite a few. We have 375. Yeah, 370. Oh yeah, so actually it's lower than normal. 104 over on Twitch, 905 over on. Pop on over, hit that like, guys. 
Okay, here, check out this cable management. Remember what it looked like before? This is what it looks like now. Five. I'm just saying, that actually came out pretty dang clean. Yeah. Like when you think about where, where, like if you look at the before and then what we have now, much cleaner look. And then we're gonna hook this up real quick and let's do our GPU. Uh, we get, do a giveaway when we hit 700 meat retreat. Yeah, we do a, we do a, we do a giveaway. I don't know why I'm repeating what you said, but I felt like the Well, right cause thing. you're the boss and you usually do. <laughs> Sweet. That is not what you meant to do. Hey guys, we're just getting this one plug plugged in here. Okay, there we go. That's plugged in all of our cables. Now you can't see into those cables on the other side, so that looks clean as well. Um, just a clean looking build. Oh shoot. I didn't realize I'd done this. That's the only thing I did that I don't like. Let's see what we can do here for this. I'm gonna get this loose tighter. Hold on one sec, guys. One K one, I'm not gonna let one bad cable get me. Maybe I did mean, mean to do that. It'd be like, wife, I gotta buy a laptop. Give me the buttons. Yes, he has to loose tighter. We're just trying to get this this one cable. It's kind of annoying that everything's good. Just drop the drop my uh, my Chromebook. I think it's just the day, Cole Martin. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Get this more. Uh, more. Izio, thank you for the sub. Tier one sub. One sec, guys. We like got everything so done, and then. Imagination, oh thank you for the tier one sub. Trying to get this one sense of cables. There we go. We will get this. This will. Jeffrey, uh, twelve sixty-four. Thank you for the five-dollar super chat. There we go. Now I need to put this right here because I need that to stay over. I had to redo, redo a little bit of cable management real quick, guys, and then and I need to do this while it's sitting up to make sure that that cable stays where it needs to stay here. I can't see that stuff. So. Okay, now I can fix this. Because the front looks the way it's supposed to. Okay. I had to fix the front, guys. Sorry. 
It's not gonna look as clean on the back as I'd like because that one cable just needs to be right. So I have one like kind of like dangling cable, but small price to pay for the front looks with the front is way more important than a clean, perfectly clean back. There we go. We made it. We hit 700 likes. 700 likes. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Okay. Even builds that I don't have to, um, that I'm going to take apart, I still take the time to make sure it looks good. So let it be said, Ruby wants it to look nice regardless. Okay, there we go. We have this one random cable I can't do anything about, but comparatively to where it was, it looks way better. No one's. This is no one's PC. Just for the stream. Yeah, just so you guys can see and get a full idea. Like, but again, it's a new case. This this case is like this. The build that I built in this would be a case a build I would recommend. So. I, you know, if somebody's watching this is like, oh, I'd love to do this build. I want to show them how to do it right. Okay, so now, again, that cable's now hidden in the top left. Now what we can do is focus on getting our, getting our uh, GPU in. We have this like all open space right here, which you could put like, you could put like hard drives right here if you wanted to. So you've got a couple hard drive mounts just to kind of make that look a little bit better if you wanted to. Um, but we'll also have that, we'll also have a massive, massive uh, hard drive, uh, sorry, massive GPU filling that spot here pretty quick too. This one's been... There we go. Oh, there is no cable in front of the motherboard. What cable? Oh. Someone said, why is that fan cable in front of the motherboard? There's a M.2 and then this is, oh, this one right here, the one that's at the top is connected. This is actually to our, um, this is to our uh, uh, cooler. So, okay, let's go ahead and get this opened up and let's get our GPU in. Everybody say GPU time. GPU time. There we go. And then we want this one. Oh, come on. Learn to, learn to use a screwdriver, Ruby. <laughs> okay, I didn't want to take that one off. There we go. Take this off real quick and put this back on. Okay, and then this can go back on. Okay. Lift this up, take these two out. Okay. We've gone over the CPU. It's, it, it is how it is. Yeah, we know it's slightly crooked, guys. It just is, it's just, it's how, there's nothing we can do to fix it. Okay, let us go to our GPU. Okay, going to our side camera. Here we go, guys, grabbing our Aorus RTX 3070. There it is. Ooh, pretty. I have the 3080 version of this too. Uh, 
which would also work in this case, and we have enough power for it. Okay, so here it is, Man. RTX 3070. Look at all that shininess. Yeah. There we go. There it is. And again, this is what I was talking about. Is again, we're gonna have direct airflow right here on the bottom, right from that fan, which is gonna be nice. So it should actually come out really good. Now we got some massive peeling to do on this. There we go. Massive peeling. Triple, triple fan. There we go. And last part, take this off. Put this back away. Oh. Close that. Okay. There we go. Let's do our top peel. Boom, and last one. There we go. Okay, here we go, top down. Let's get this installed. Put a nice little fingerprint on my, I did not want to do. GPU time, GPU time. There we go, okay. Installed. There it is. Pop that down. It's actually not as big as I thought it would be. Not as like long as like the, not as long as the. Uh, um, purchase from where? New Egg Shuffle. He has people that, he does it just like everybody else, guys. There we go. Okay, cool. So that's all in. Um, we are gonna have this weird situation with our fan that we'll have to pay attention to for sure. I'm gonna get that cleaned up. There we go, installed. You know, I think actually sticking some drives like on this would make a big difference in terms of just how the thing looked and just having a couple, of just overall, just helping with the overall polish of the build. Let's grab our power. Our power cables. Next up, some sleeve cables just to help break up the look here. These are some black mix. Okay, first one we're gonna do is grab our CPU, I mean, sorry, our, our uh, motherboard. Okay, this one's gonna go right here. We're gonna make sure we put a couple bits on the top. Then after this, guys, PSU. Which it, this one's uh, I'm gonna smell it, guys, but it's not a it's a it's one of my sample PSUs which you've used multiple times, which is the NZXT one. So it'll be nice. You'd, you'd pay him for parts plus. Commission. We actually have a, yeah, we, you guys will actually see, a, we'll have our, if you guys are interested in getting uh, commissions, I'm actually running low on slots. 
Um, but uh, you, if you want to find out, uh, we opened them up just a couple weeks ago. Uh, like slots started to fill pretty quick. We're gonna get a link right here so you guys can get a, if you're interested in having me do a uh, build or having me do a commission, here's the information from our mods right here. 947, we're at 1470 now. We hit our, we hit our likes on YouTube, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we can do that. We'll do that. I'll do that giveaway. Let me finish the cable combs and we'll start the community giveaway in just a second. Now guys, one thing that we do with every show, because we have over a thousand people here, um, a thousand just on my stream. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, just a thousand on my stream alone. Um, is we will go and we'll raid. We'll go and raid like a small streamer. Um, if you wouldn't mind just sticking around, it makes all the difference to them. Like they literally, it makes their day. And just stick around, uh, give them a follow, you know, stick around, chat with them a little bit, say hi. Um, it will really just like, it will just make a big difference in a small streamers, you know, and I'm still, I think I'm still, am I still a small streamer? I feel like a medium, I think. Medium, so I'm a medium sized streamer, so there you go. But if you're like, you know. I mean, you have like the small, medium, large, huge. Yeah, so I'm still, a, I'm still, yeah, I'm a decent. I'd say you're medium. I'm a medium sized streamer, so there you go. Maybe just almost, almost. Uh, he ran Van Helsing. Um, you're over a hundred. Yeah. I'm adequately sized. Actually, yeah. So I've looked. I've... So I'm in the top, like, just so you guys, I'm in the top 0.03 percent of Twitch in terms of overall size. So actually, I guess, I guess that's still. I mean, that's a lot. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a. I don't know. What would you guys say? Am I a large streamer? I would say. I, I guess on that, I'm. I don't so, know, thinking of some of the other streamers I watch, and you're you're bigger than them, but they're kind of also. It's like the the things well is like from a from a the, there's like then there's like when you think about like ninjas and stuff like that, those guys are like point, those are oh, like yeah like high 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 you know what I mean God, so God I'm tier. comfort <laughs> size yeah. I'd say I'd say, yeah, large. I'd say large. I'm yeah I'm a large you're, streamer. You're a large streamer. Yeah, so I'd say large. There's yeah. one streamer I watch every now and then, Tefty Tef. He it's like 300. I don't, uh, yeah. 200. It's yeah. like, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, I'm not, I'm not purple because on purpose. And that's because I stream to YouTube as well. So that is actually a personal choice. I can, I have, I could be a partner and have been offered partner, uh, before. I just am not a partner. I don't, I can't stream to YouTube if I go partner. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. That's it, man. There we go. Oh, I got it in now. Cool. But yeah, again, still point being, helping like doing things for small streamers uh, is huge. And I love how it makes their day. So yeah, if you could stick around, even just for a little bit, say hi, give them a follow, would be a massive. I gotta start streaming again. There we go. Okay, so we got so another. I can become famous and quit my day job. It's my, it's my goal. It's my plan. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We got that one in, that one in. Now we just have two more to do. This is a dual CPU one, so. Two more tables. I think I'm going to run them off to the side. I think that's the only thing I'm going to be able to do. Which is unfortunate because I might... Maybe People I'm... are really digging the inflatable hot tub stream idea. Oh, really? <laughs> then I'll be a massive streamer. Ro Roby would be huge if you build a PC while in an inflatable hot tub. <laughs> Does it have to have water in it? <laughs> like, that's the question. I'll do it in an inflatable hot tub. Mineral oil? <laughs> yeah, if I put in mineral oil, then I'd be fine. Mineral oil hot tub. That would be gross. Ice cream. I'd be like, I'd be like, it'd be so nasty. Thero well, thorough paste, like, it's funny because I actually put that idea and then Paul's Hardware from Paul from Paul's Hardware is like, I'd be worried about ingest. Um, it's like one of those things, like, if I did it, like, I don't know if I'd use, like, high-end parts because, like, if I... And then the other thing, too, is, like, what if I, you know shock might like you know like something goes wrong and like you know what i mean it just 
It feels like a lot. I mean, like right now it'd be fine because I'm not really doing anything that's going to be connected to power, but. Um, do it in non-conductive fluid. I'm trying to think of, can I? Ice drink hot tub. <laughs> Yeah, can I get ice to sponsor a hot tub time a hot tub stream? That is the question. I'm trying to see if I can run this. Oh, if we did this, you would have to wear Ducky Floaty and the armband that uh help you float. <laughs> yeah, we got I'm already one. planning this out for you. <laughs> Pralines and cream filled hot tub. By the way, did we find out any other folks who like pralines and cream? Like who, who like? I think there's a couple who legit know what I'm talking about. Like pralines and cream is like legit good ice cream. Okay, last cable. Then we can turn this over and do our PSU. Corn dog, <laughs> corn dog filled hot tub. That'd actually be pretty good. I could like eat a hot dog like every once in a while. I wonder how many corn dogs I'd be. It'd be a lot of corn dogs. <laughs> okay, I will look into doing a hot tub stream. Like I, it, it cannot be filled with water. Maybe, maybe I do it. What if I filled it with like, what if I filled it with, um, like those like playpen balls? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like the playpen, like the. So then, like you know, like I'm not gonna fry myself. But um, yeah, carpets, fill it with carpets. Fill it with static. <laughs> Glitter. Glitter would be terrible. Oh my gosh. That would be like, what are Orbeez? People are saying Orbeez. What if I filled it with, uh, what if I filled it with um, uh, 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 Bussins? <laughs> but that, was, that stream would be Bussin. What are Orbeez? People need to look up a thousand gallons of milk. Yeah, ball pit. Fill it with butter? Wow. Yeah, that would also be gross. Fill it with 3090s. Ooh, zip ties. What if I fill it with zip ties? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a lot of zip ties, though. Oh, it's uh, gel beads. Oh. That uh, you put water and they, they absorb the water. Oh, yeah. But then again, like, do I have to worry about, like, dying? It's like, again, I'm building a PC in said. I'm building a PC in the balls, said. The balls have static, though. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so like. I mean, I'm not like jumping in them, though, or anything like that. It's like, it's not. I'm not. Yeah, but I don't know. Just remembering, remembering the days in the ball pit. Dad, if you did it with mineral oil, would your body absorb that? And would that I don't know. Bad? I'm just worried, like, then I get done and, like, I, like, like, I can't walk for the rest of my life because my shoes don't slip on. Like, you know, it's just like, it's like, <laughs> wah! You know, like, you're, uh, you're like... I have been soaked in mineral oil. I've been soaked in mineral oil or whatever it was. Like, I don't know what long-term, like, I don't know what the long-term effects of exposure to mineral oil would be. Okay, uh, let's turn this over and let's get our PSU in. You won't die. Don't be dramatic. <laughs> you nope. can't have a hot tub with dry ice, guys. Wow. Then you're like, you literally are trying to kill me at that point in time. Like that. I mean, you can have the effect, but. You won't die. Don't be dramatic. I like when people are like, you know, it'll be fine, Roby. Don't be a <laughs> wuss. <laughs> Just do it already. Yeah, why is this Why is this not done? It's like, wow, thanks guys. According to Google, mineral oil is actually good for your skin. Okay, so there it is. Mineral oil, it, no, that sounds that sounds so oh, gross. I, I, just, I would feel like your your body would have absorbed it too much or something. I just feel like, I just feel like mineral oil just sounds nasty. Hot tub full of spaghetti? And again, still what wet. What about lava? All right, guys, now we're <laughs> reaching. <laughs> <laughs> lava like one guy was like i like to think of the guy who was like what kind of dreams are you having about me when you want to fill it with butter like that just sounds <laughs> home packing peanuts bubble waffles Ooh, bubble waffles actually would be pretty good it's 
a lot of bubble waffles. Bubble waffles, corn dogs. I wonder if we can get like lemon. Waffles. I wonder if we can get like Hello Lemon to sponsor it. Like it's like, hey, can you sponsor our bubble waffle like with just like 30 bubble? We need like how many bubble waffles do we need? You think? Wandy says rubber duckies. Right, yeah, rubber duckies. What about that? Ooh, I rubber, like that idea. My rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. Hello, hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. You like my rubber ducky? What about rubber ducky, guys? Ice cream concrete? What? It says concert. Oh, ice cream concert. I was like, ice cream concrete? What? Dubber Rockies. Over what about Rocky? What about Rocky Mountain Rocky Mountain oysters? Ew, gross. Why? <laughs> I don't know. This, yeah. Thumbtacks? That's not even funny. <laughs> wow. Again, now we're just reaching. Now we're just saying stuff. Somebody said fill it with thermal paste, but again, uh, thermal paste not so good for the skin, and probably would cause some long-term skin irritations if I like sat in thermal paste and did it. Floppy disks. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be kind of hard to move around in. He'd be like, why is he floating in a bunch of save icons? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Okay, cool. Uh, everything's ready here. Let's go and get our PSU in. Save icons. I didn't know those things were physical. All you, well, I said all your leftover fans. That would be, that's actually not a bad idea. A hot tub full of fans. I'd be like, oh, see, I've got a fan made. <laughs> like it's a fan, it's a fan favorite. I know you have more than just those two tubs. Yeah, and I mean that. I mean that's a lot of fans. I mean like I'm standing up the whole time anyway, but I need an inflatable hot tub. Oh, I actually have a real hot tub. So you, you not not at my house, it. but we. I mean like, is this a new? No, I was like, this better not be a new PSU. There we go, PSU time. Can't wait for him to sniff this and pass out. Jeez. Wow, you guys are really... No, are, I said that. Oh, you guys are like... I was like, wow, you guys are being really kind today. Can't wait for him. This might be... This might... Or, or you know, honestly, like, Kevin does such a good job with repacking this stuff that he makes it look so good. I'm like, is this new or... It, no, no, <laughs> Have we not. used it before? Yeah, baby! <laughs> That's the stuff. Woo! That's the good stuff right there! Yeah! Hot tub does not mean reheating leftovers in the microwave. <laughs> oh. oh, man, so good. Just remember, guys, it's coming. PSU filled hot tub, it's coming. Oh, not that one. Uh, where is it? Um, I did it. Where is the... Uh, do I not have it on this one? What? Oh, maybe it's on the side cam. Yeah, here we go. There it is. <laughs> it's coming, guys. You wait. It's going to be amazing. Awesome. The candle. We're working on it. Who would buy it? That's the question. Uh, All of I'm you good. would. I'm Not good. me. I'd burn that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, here we got our, so uh, CPU connections. I should go can't back see. to, can't see anything because I've got it blocked, but yeah. Here we go, top down. So we got our CPU connection. Here's our motherboard right here. There we go. And then we need two VGA. This is CPU. VGA, two of them. And we have one SATA, right? Yeah, a single SATA. Have I never used a SATA in this? Where's my... RG RGB header is loose-ish. What? They're saying RGB header is loose-ish. Okay, that's the only one. It must be that one. Everything else looks like it's good. That one was a little loose, okay. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. That's the last cable. I don't think they gave me their hub left side. Yeah, that's what I just got finished doing. The hub left side hub one. Okay, sorry, this is slow. No, it's okay. We're working with a Chromebook here. Oh, wow, wait, 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 wait. This is, yeah, this. There you go. There we go. Thank you. Okay, let's get this done. And then I need to get the PSU power. Okay, so here we go. SATA. VGA. VGA. There we go. Okay. There's all that stuff. One thing that is not here, because we've used this PSU before, is the power cable. I mean, the is the PSU screws. So I'm hoping there's some in here. Yep, looks like there is. Need four PSU screws. Some people think seem to think that you know exactly when things are going to come back in stock. I do? No, I don't. Apparently. How do they? How do I know that? I don't know. They're asking you when things are going to be in stock. Oh, I don't know. Guys, okay. I wake up. If you the if you don't believe B five fifty, when is that going to be in stock? If you look, if you go into my. Uh, if you go to the, my tech specialist, my tech specialist know just that I am as clueless as you are, because I'll walk up, I'll wake up, and they'll be like, oh, what's on the new egg shuffle today? And then I'll go look and enter it. And uh, yeah, and it's, it's the same as you. I am no different. I don't have any special privileges uh, in terms of like getting access to things or buying things separately or anything like that. I, have, I don't have anything like that. Um, for a, a number of reasons. One, you guys would hate me. I mean, the only ones where I get stuff is like if I'm doing like a like a build in partnership, like with the PCs that I give away. Like, yeah, obviously I get those GPUs, but I don't get to keep those GPUs. Those GPUs go to um, those GPUs go to you guys who are going to win them. So, come on, there we go. Okay, there we go. Have you ever finished your stream room? Video? Mm -hmm. No, it's still it still needs to get done. Oh, so many videos that I have to make. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna seal our seal our put our PSU back on here. Yes, yes, Tigger, I do. I'm actually I'm waiting for him to come back in stock so I can get one. What? A laptop with a 2080 or a 3070. Most likely a 3070 or a 3060. I am buying a new one, my first one from um, Origin. I ordered one from Origin. So I will have my first 3000 series laptop here pretty Is that, soon. Uh, HP? No, Origin, owned by Corsair, Origin PCs. Oh, I, I, I thought, oh, I'm sorry, that's Omen. Yeah, my bad. Ugh, okay, there we go, C850's in down okay here we go so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna create our get our last little bits done and then a PC will be finished there we go right there now the key here for me when I do these which I just use these big yep, my bad guys things for is I do just what what are make I make what are called shards Guys, we're only 80 away from little, they're called, I call them shards, and I know shards in the UK aren't necessarily the best, like sharding, but um, isn't the best thing. But what I'm doing is I create like little shards of cables so you can use them easily and then shove them into little small spaces like so. So again, same thing with this one. Grab our PSU cable. Yes, yes, I know I need to upgrade this. Hook that up like that. 
Unfortunately, I wonder if, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room, let's see. If this will work like the NZXT, uh, the Fantex, where you can like shove this into the side. No, not enough room for that. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then where it doesn't make sense to zip tie, I don't, obviously. The shards different context of the shards. Uh, if you, <laughs> <laughs> what? Shards, different context than shard. Oh. Okay, cool. It's funny when I read it. Okay, same thing with this one. We're just gonna kind of shove this. Down, so it's out of the way. And then these I want to keep loose because again, I want to make sure they have a lot of room because we want to make sure we can make the front look pretty. Oh, I was like, what is going on? Yeah, it would help if I turned them over and didn't the right way. There you go. Same thing with this one. One of those unique situations here where, honestly, it's like, if I didn't have to connect these, they would look so much nicer, but you do. So. Fortunately, you have to connect them, and in doing so, you gotta play around with them on the front. Okay, so now we've got all that stuff plugged in. 5,000 Corsair airflow cases are great. Okay, now I'm gonna play with the front. <clears throat> so I know it's gonna look wacky. Yeah, as I suspected. Okay, I'm gonna grab a single. Four pin. Wish you did more ITX build. This is an ATX build. ITX. Oh, I, I, I've done two in the last yeah. two weeks. In fact, like it's like that's almost a 50% ratio. I do, I do quite a fit. Yeah. You're, are you talking about like really nice, like like real, honest SFF builds? There we go. Okay, cool. I feel like that is, shoot. Okay, that's still working. Okay, cool. So now everything's done. We're gonna close the back case. Turn this bad boy on. Okay, we're done. PC's done. Ugh. Way heavier now. Way heavier. You don't say. I don't understand. Why is it so heavy? I don't get it. I think there is a custom loop build in the... Actually, course. we have one coming up in May. A full-blown, you guys will watch the whole thing on the channel. Uh, we're using the Corsair, the Cooler Master Master Case, uh, full water-cooled build. Uh, it's got a uh, EVGA uh, 3080 FTW3 that we're going to be water cooling with a Optimus water block. Um, we're also doing a, uh, it's going to be an Intel 11900K build. Um, so thanks to Intel, uh, it's using a Gigabyte Aorus Masters D590 motherboard. Um, yeah, it's going to all Optimus water cooling parts. Um, yeah, and you guys will get to see the whole thing get done from end to end. The only thing that I'll probably do is off stream. I'll be doing some of the cable, uh, some of the, some of the tube bending and all that sort of stuff off stream. But yeah, for the most part, you guys will uh, get to see uh, the whole thing from end to end across multiple streams. That one won't be a single stream. So that's going to be happening in May, uh, in conjunction with also a PC that we're going to be building, all white. Uh, with uh, in sponsorship in uh, partnership with uh, EVGA and 
um, everybody else uh, a giveaway PC that we're doing with an all-white build in a, of course, Cooler Master TD500. So a couple things we're just doing in partnership with Cooler Master, and we'll be giving one of those away. You guys are talking about iced tea. I don't know what's going on here. You said, weird. what is your favorite ice flavor? Oh, my favorite ice flavor, I like the pineapple coconut, um, but I also really like the lemon lime, which is essentially tastes just like Sprite um, or a 7-Up, whichever. But I, I don't mind, the, like uh, Kevin, who's uh, who gets all of the ones for the for the stream stuff is all, like he does a good job. Like I, I don't mind the, this is strawberry a watermelon. strawberry wa watermelon. I was like, strawberry wobber melon. Okay. Just cleaning up the workspace real quick, guys. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it is. PC is done. There it is. It's and don't worry. It's not gonna the fan. This is not gonna hit the fan. The fan has got the the guard is blocking it, so that's not gonna be a problem. Put our cover back on. Maybe it goes like this. There we go. And there is. A completed build. I like the front of this. Okay, there we go, guys. Turn it on. Turn it on. Oh, let's. Uh, while we're turning it on, well, no, let's turn it on. Then we'll do the community giveaway. Um, completely spaced on that. Oh. Okay, here we go. Bottom. Now there is a brand new Thank you for the BIOS hits. update oh, for geez. the B550. I'm just hitting everything today. Okay, there we go. There's a new BIOS update for the B550 that just came out as well. Okay, there we go. We're not going to see any light, so... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. All white. Wasn't ready for that. There we go, guys. $4.99. Hit me one and thank you very much. And there is your build all ready to go. So there it is right there. You've got, I love that little icon. You've got the little uh, thing. I think I have control. Yeah, I do have control. There we go. Of all of my fans here. Oh, you have a lot of options here. Let's go through all bajillion colors. Wow. There's like Christmas right there. Like pulsing, green pulsing. Blue pulsing, yellow pulsing, red. Like the, oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's all in the rainbow puke. There you go. Rainbow puke. Unicorn blood. There is unicorn blood right there. And then you can see the front. And again, it's got that air cooling for directly over the GPU as well. So. Yeah, Minesweeper RTX on right there. That is a pretty case. It looks really good. And again, uh, you know, we've got exhaust at the top, exhaust on the side and intake. Uh, intake, three intake, and then uh, an intake for the GPU on the bottom. And then here, I'll put it over on the side, so we'll start our... Oh, it's already booted and it's got an OS on it, so there you go. It's like, it's like done. Um, here we go, we're gonna pop this up over here so you guys can see it on the side camera. I'm gonna let you line that up, and then we'll start the community giveaway. Everybody say thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Twitch. There we go. You guys can see it a little bit better. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Twitch. We're going to do a... This is for a... 
two uh, 500 gig NVMe SSDs. Okay, and then the entry for this is gonna be exclamation point community. And starting that giveaway right now. So I can find it, there it is. Giveaway is starting right now, two minutes guys, exclamation point community. That's cool, it's got that nice little, I like the, uh, I like the uh, little, uh, uh, OLED screen on the on the CPU, on the GPU. I mean, I know. There you go! Exclamation point, community guys, getting your entry in on that now. Okay. Okay. Well, then we will see you later. Bye, chat. There goes Trey. Say bye, Trey, everybody. Ugh. See you next week. Trey's leaving, everybody. We got one minute left, guys. Build looks good. And we are booted by the way, guys, just so you guys know, we actually have like the full build is done and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's actually done. Here, I'll show you. I think it's, I think you'll see it. Do, 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 do. See if it shows up. It doesn't always show up. Hold on one sec, guys. I don't want that. I want this one. Hopefully. Maybe. Congratulate, there you go, right there. Congratulations to Smooch6231. Smooch6231, you are the winner of one 500 gig NVMe SSD, and there you go, right there. The whole, uh, the machine's actually ready and booted. <clears throat> Next up is Oni21, Oni21. Uh, you are the winner of our second, <clears throat> our second one, so congratulations. Okay, guys, well, um, we still have uh, one more big giveaway. We're going to give them a chance to. Uh, we're going to give them a chance to uh, uh, reach um, reach uh, Blondie and get those checked in, and then we're going to do our uh, 5800X giveaway, <clears throat> which is the last giveaway of the show. Um, <clears throat> a couple things, like I said, we're getting ready to raid somebody. I'm going to look for a raid target here in a minute. So please, when we're done doing the giveaway, if you just stick around. Uh, pop on over, say hi, drop a follow. That would be huge for another small streamer and just make their life a whole lot better. Uh, also, lastly, uh, we are back on Friday for commission build. We're building one for uh, Super Naru, who is actually a long-term community member and a big supporter. So we're gonna be building a commission build for him. Uh, it's an all white build, white Asus ROG Strix 3070. It is going to be a beautiful build in a Cooler Master TD500. So look for a really, really great build. That's gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna be happening on Friday. We also have another giveaway that's activating on Friday for the Razer. Uh, Tomahawk will give me away two systems, a mini ITX and an ATX system. Uh, you guys actually got to watch us build them here on the show. So those will be going live on Friday. And then don't forget, we also have the AMD giveaway that's currently active and the Intel giveaway that is currently active. So if you want something, whether it's Intel, AMD, micro ATX, uh, sorry, mini ITX or ATX, we have you pretty much covered uh, in terms of the giveaways right now. So lots of stuff to get in on and uh, get your entry points on for as well. So should be a really, really great time, a great time to be here and be a Robitech fan and potentially walk away with a free PC. So, um, okay, so let's go and do this last giveaway. Obviously everybody say thank you Newegg. Thank you Newegg. <clears throat> Without them, we wouldn't be able to uh, have this great show on a consistent basis. Uh, we're gonna be giving away a 5600X. We didn't quite make the, uh, 
the goal for, uh, we did not quite make the goal for uh, the big one, but still. And uh, entry point for this is gonna be exclamation point new egg now, exclamation point new egg now. We're giving away Ryzen 7, sorry, Ryzen 5 5600X and starting that giveaway right now, guys. Only need to enter once, you do not need to spam, uh, only need to enter once. And I think the build came out sick. I think the build looks absolutely crazy and good. So I'm actually stoked in the bill and everything's kind of picked up already. So we got, shoot, I forgot to record this. Well, so much for this thing. I completely forgot to record this whole stream, guys. Dang it. Oh, man. New egg now. Thank you very much, guys. All the folks who are doing that. We got, what, one minute and 30 seconds left. I'm gonna figure out my dinner. What am I gonna eat tonight? Where's my phone? Put this away. <clears throat> Ugh. What am I gonna eat tonight, guys? I am hungry. I cannot find my, let's find my phone. Oh, it's in my back pocket. What's in my front pocket? Good job, robes. Can't find your phone that's right in your front pocket. Um. <clears throat> Okay. I'm looking for my, looking for my door, like what I can do in there. Okay, here we go. We got a new raider, which is gonna be cool. So we got a new person we're gonna basically be raiding. Okay, congrats. Okay, picking our winner right now, guys. Picking our winner right now. Just a second. Okay, picking our winner. Our winner is, congratulations to Arbitray, Arbitray Zero. Arbitray Zero over on Twitch. Congratulations, you are the winner of a Ryzen 5 5600X. Congratulations, Arbitray. Thank you very much and uh, all that sort of stuff. Okay, guys, well, we are got a raid target right now. I'm looking right now uh, for, uh, we're gonna be doing Div. I don't even know how to say this, uh, but, Let's, uh, let's see what he's, uh, he's playing Among Us. So get ready, please, if you can, stick around, say hi. We're gonna give, uh, it's, it's D-E-V-I-U, okay. I-U-O-S-T. Oh, Devious, oh, v Devious TV Live. Okay, Devious TV Live, he's got 10 viewers. He's got 10 viewers right now. Okay, Devious TV Live. He's got 10 viewers right now playing Among Us. Uh, anyway, guys, <clears throat> get ready. Uh, we'll do the, we'll test the thermals, guys. Don't worry. We'll look for the new video. We'll have a full video on this in terms of our thermals and review and stuff like that. So we'll make sure we do that, guys. Outside of this, have a great night. We will see you later. We're going to be raiding right now. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you on Friday. 288, 315, 414, 494. Can we get 600, 560, 570? 580. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. For those of you over on YouTube and those of you over on twitch.tv slash new egg, thank you very much for hanging out tonight. Super appreciate all your support, and we will see you guys on Friday. Bye, guys.